Hello everyone! How are you all doing? I hope you're having a good Tuesday. Welcome to Tinfoil Tuesday. We're going to be doing all sorts of conspiracy theory nonsense. I'm a little tired. I was cuddling with a kitty for a long period of time, which made me a little drowsy, but hopefully the crazy will wake me up a little. I got a Coke Zero for the caffeine. In chat to keep me hyped. Speaking of which, hype train is ongoing. If we get to level five of the hype train, I'll don all my tinfoil accoutrement and uh, be all shiny. So that'll be good. How's everyone been doing? Thanks. We got to five percent to level three of the train. We just completed level two. Bittergrin, thanks for twelve months. Says, wow, a whole year. Happy anniversary. Um. Freaking out 99 thanks for 15 months, says, holy time warp, Batman, I can't believe it's been 15 months, I know, it's crazy, right? Puka the Duka, thanks for 200 bits, Ray Geology with 100, says, hi, I hope you're doing okay, I hope you are too. Bittergrin with 100 bits, says, hype, broha blast in the chat, thanks for 6 months, appreciate ya. Stone Corbell with 100 bits, says, hello, Hannah, choking Ouroboros with 500 bits, says, happy tinfoil Tuesday, overthought with 9 months. Um, <laughs> says another stream baby is born. Hannah, I trust you to pick a wonderful name. Now I'm just going to get some milk. I swear I'll be right back. Oh God. Okay. Stream baby. This stream baby's name is Reginald Von Clark the 12th. Cast Iron Pan. Thanks for 14 months. <laughs> Bro Blast. Thanks for gifting five tier one subs. I appreciate it. I'll consider that, you know, that's, that's, I would consider that a, a Christmas present. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 
bringing us to 22% to level 4. Blackwing Hackity with 50 bits says, uh, he had a happy Tuesday. Um, we are doing bingo today, so if you want to get a bingo card ready, feel free to do so. And you can try your hand at winning a gift sub from myself. We're at least at level 3 right now, so I can put on 3 things. I'll begin. Lately, I've been waiting until the entire level 5. Shouldn't do that. Did I hear about the Blaze host that called out Nick Fuentes for giving advice about women, though he's never been with one? Yeah, we watched that on the patron-only live stream on Sunday. Because I can't watch it here, because... Fuentes is banned on Twitch, so I did it on YouTube during our patron-only live stream, and that was pretty fucking nuts. <laughs> 46 percent to level four with three minutes left. How is the Blu-ray war coming? Good. Let me see what I'm at right now in my count. Um, I currently have 607 titles in my collection. Just recently breached the 600 mark. 607. Uh, I was at the dollar store today and picked up Anchorman on Blu-ray. Which I didn't have, so I guess 608. I know Baja picked up um, a horror movie. That we're gonna watch at some point. Meek says, I wonder if Sydney said the same thing to John Doyle since she podcasts with him and he said the same thing about women. Oh god, does she podcast with John Doyle? Yikes. 48% to level 4 still with 2 minutes left. What's my favorite and least favorite movies in my Blu-ray collection? It's a good question. I'll look at my collection in a sec. I have a thing on my phone where I can look at it. Forty-eight percent still to level four. Focus. There we go. It's a little better. Cast Iron Pan with 200 bits says hype for foil, bringing us to 57%. Thank you. All right. So my favorite in terms of just like what's my favorite movie? Probably Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights is my favorite movie. Um, what's my least favorite that I have in my collection? Um, the Dynamite Jellyfish with 50 bits says Nick Fuentes, the sexist white supremacist, can't get women. Shocker. I know, right? I don't even think Nick wants to be with a woman based on the way he talks about women, so I don't get it. Um, 96 Tick, thanks for following. Also says, love Boogie Nights. Yeah, it's a great movie. Paul Thomas Anderson is a very good director. Are there any movies I bought because I hate them? I don't think I usually do that. <laughs> I don't think there's any movies in my collection that I downright hate. Just because why would I buy them if I hated them? <sighs> Maybe Mortal Kombat Annihilation, but that came in a three pack with, with other movies. So that might be why. Pixels Fallen says, do I own The Running Man on Blu-ray? I don't own The Running Man, no. Cast Iron Pan, thanks for gifting a sub. Sorry, I'm still just looking through the list to make sure that I'm not missing any. I own The Room, but I like The Room. It's just a bad movie, you know? Oh, we only got to level three today. That's it. Yeah, this is all. We don't get the jacket or anything. <laughs> Shit. That hasn't happened in a while. Okay, let me finish up reading through this list. We're in the S's. Do I have Neil Breen on Blu-ray? He doesn't release in Blu-ray. I have two of his DVDs, though. 
They just come in jewel case jewel cases. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't have anything I hate, I don't think. Shrek 3 is the, your least favorite movie you own? I guess I own Shrek 3, but I haven't seen... No, I've seen Shrek 3. I haven't seen Shrek 4. Shrek 3 isn't good, though. MN Broodwitch, thank you for subscribing for 12 months. Says, woo, a whole year of Hannah. All right, let's get right down to it. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. What are we going to watch first? I guess let's get this out of the way first. I think Call had another channel banned. He uploaded this video like an hour ago. <laughs> so I guess let's hear him bitch about having another channel removed, which is entirely his own fault because he just can't stop breaking YouTube's terms of service. Come a part of it. Wake up because this is a call for an uprising. <laughs> Here I go again. <laughs> to today's show, and here we go again, right? Another channel has been terminated. This is what usually happens when I hit around 100,000 subs. It was at about 130. Look, I know a lot of channels get deleted, so I'm not crying a river over it. There's a bunch of us who are in the same boat. Some of us don't agree with each other. None of us have to be friends, but we're all... Feeling this massive censorship, which is just absolutely absurd. Oh, he's so censored. Look at how censored he is with these other two channels that are live ever... right now. <laughs> A call for an uprising. This is... And the fire rises. He has two other channels. Much censor. Not only is it absurd. Is he actually so stupid he doesn't know why he's banned or is he just acting? He's acting. Like, Call is stupid and delusional, but even he knows why he's getting banned. He just wants to be a little baby about it and not admit it, because on some level, I, I think he thinks if he doesn't admit it, then he'll get more of a chance with his ban evasion channels if he just doesn't know that he's not supposed to make them. But of course he does. He's not that dumb. It's not fair, but life isn't fair, is it? So all we can do is build back better, as Creepy Joe likes to say. And I waited a few days because I was appealing the strike. I got a strike for talking about graphene. There is not one war- Oh, I guess you should stop inferring that there are things in medicine that aren't actually in that medicine, which would be medical misinformation, which is against YouTube TOS call. Kirthin, thanks for 15 months in Rageology, says, let me guess, he's totally not bothered by it at all. In fact, he finds it fun. Distant sounds of Call's teeth grinding together. <laughs> Word in the video about this magic potion that they're trying to put in people. There's not one article shown. There's not one mention of a vax. None. Yes, there is. Call, you calling it a magic potion and making inferences still counts. It still counts. Like, we've seen Call's videos. He is the least subtle person in the planet with his messaging. Does he seriously think he's speaking in fucking James Bond code words that everyone doesn't know what he's talking about? Call, everyone knows what you mean when you say magic potion. Context clues, you stupid bitch. <laughs> None whatsoever. But of course, they know exactly what people like me and you are talking about because they're aware that we've become aware and we can see. And that's the type of information they don't want out there. So that channel was thriving and doing pretty good. I was proud of it. Uh, you know, just the fact that I was able to, you know, the hardest thing to do here really is to get people over to your new channels. And any content creator who has lost channels will tell you the same thing. Because, you know, people listen there's some of you who listen every day or every couple days you watch and binge. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of suspicious that Call... <laughs> I have no evidence of this. I'm not saying this is for sure. And I don't like when people make these inferences because it's usually an unfair and unfalsifiable criticism in many cases. At this point, with the consistency at which he is able to get people onto his new channels, I genuinely wonder if Call 
pays for subscribers on those sketchy ass websites that you can buy subscribers and comments from. The comments it doesn't hold up as much because eh they're not bot farmed, I don't think, but I don't know. It's just he always gets to a hundred thousand. It's so weird. I've never seen someone jump so many channels and always get the same audience back. It's weird. Binge watch a few videos. And then there's others who casually watch, but even the people who watch it all the time, they constantly are hearing me say. He uses his website to direct his fans to his new channels. That's the thing though, that his channel doesn't, or his website doesn't get that much traffic based on the posts, unless it has just a, his website does not look like it has 100,000 people regularly going there based on the number of posts that get made. Hey, hey, sub to my other channel, sub to my other channel. They assume that they're subbed to the other channels, right? I had a bunch of cat channels just wiped out overnight, <laughs> you know, <laughs> videos about cats. Oh, did we get the cats removed? Right on. That's Jurassic Park with cats. I mean, unbelievable. Really, really. You know, one of those channels where he made fun of me for being trans. So good job, everyone. We did it. We got rid of those ones. He is, but I won't let it deter me. I won't let it get me down. These are getting uploaded to Facebook. That doesn't surprise me. I'm obviously exhausted. I saw when I was looking pr for videos prior to stream, um, someone else was mirroring some of his videos on BitChute. So yeah, people mirror his content. Busted and worn out from all this stuff because I'm, I'm really just racking my brain. I'm trying so hard to be able to get this content out. You know, it's not easy to constantly talk around topics. It's not easy to not be able to talk about things that we're passionate about talking about either. So my other channels are listed. He always gets 500 comments on each video within the first hour, which is sus, yeah. Nick says, cat channels, conspiracies, and transphobia. <laughs> Pretty good. Below, this is where I'll be from now on. One is about 50,000 subs, one is 25. Once the fire rises, the other's a call for an uprising. And it doesn't look like... Those channels are ever going to come back. Now, for those of you who ask, hey, how come you don't just up upload here with 525,000 subs? Because I haven't reached a new person on this channel in two, three years now. Because once they demonetize and shadow ban, your channel doesn't get seen by anyone new. But you're not getting new people with the new channels either because you always top out at around 100,000 before you get deleted. So it doesn't really matter, does it, Call? You might as well reach a larger audience on your main channel than a smaller audience on a secondary channel or, you know, tertiary or whatever channel. Well, that doesn't make sense. It'd be one thing if you were making other channels and you were getting to 600, 700,000, but you're not. These all max out under what your biggest channel is. So what's the point? Just the people who are still sub. So it's good because I can let you know where I am at all times when channels go down because I'm not uploading new stuff here. But the whole point of me staying here on YouTube is to reach new people. Otherwise, I'll just stick to my website, which I hope a lot of you will consider joining the website at callforanuprising.com. I hope some of you will consider becoming a patron. Those are ways it really helps me, you know, deal with the censorship on here. You know, it helps me uh, motivate me to keep trying and plugging away. Because, you know, you see how many people actually care. And, uh, you know, I know it's hard for people to become patrons, so it's not a big deal if you can't become one. I'm just at a point where, I mean, it's so obvious what they're doing with the magic potion. It is so obvious. Literally in his video about how he keeps getting banned, and he's like, I don't know why I'm getting banned. He's gonna do medical misinformation again. How this has to be in people. Magic potion. I'm just at a point where I Here we go. Let's report this video for fucking medical misinformation. He can't he cannot he can't stop himself. What is his fucking problem? <laughs> Every time Every time.
reported. Boy, that's this this time he does an anti-vax at four minutes twelve seconds. Sure is reportable. Tucker White says, one thing I love about this is that it's great in two ways. When Call loses a channel, he turns into a salty bitch. When he starts a new channel, I get to laugh at YouTube and how fucking broken it is. <laughs> Pyromancer says, calling it now, Call gives up in the next three months. I wish that were the case, but I really, 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 really doubt it. <laughs> the guy's been going for years. I don't think he's given up anytime soon. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I just don't think I am. The dynamite jellyfish says, as someone in nursing school, we have to give an oath to the devil and say a prayer to Hannah before giving potions to my patients. I appreciate that. Your prayers do sustain me. Much appreciated. I mean, it's so obvious what they're doing with the magic potion. It is so obvious how this has to be in people. The people's DNA strands need to be manipulated. Just like Daddy Sume. It has to be in people all the time. Related that they need to genetically transform, that these people are such cowards that they... <laughs> Call. None of what you are saying right now, which is medical misinformation, by the way, none of it is true. You are just repeating incorrect false conspiracy theories. I mean, it's pathetic. Mandates, mandates, mandates. No one cares that people are losing jobs. No. Fuck you if you refuse to get vaccinated and you can. I do not care if you lose your job. Nobody cares that the economy's being crushed. Businesses all over. The yeah, pandemics will do that. The place going under. Nobody cares. What we care most about in this country is making sure people's feelings aren't hurt based on their gender identities and pronouns. That's. It is? That'd be nice. No, most people don't really give that much of a shit about that, unfortunately. That's <laughs> what the government cares about. Because they're molding the socialist garbage. Socialism is when pronouns. M.H. Darkby says, Afternoon, Hannah. Hope you're having a good day today. Sounds like Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is going to be even more awesome as in addition to debuting Kang, we're also apparently getting MODOK, perfectly weird villain for that movie. Technically, we already saw uh, Kang in Loki, the show. If you haven't seen Loki on Disney+, Plus, check out Loki. We got Kang. Uh, he was just going by a different name in that one. Same actor who's going to be playing him in Quantumania, though. Tiger White says, speaking of medical mis manipulation, I got my <laughs> Fauci ouchie booster today. Maybe now the 5G will kick in and I'll become a lizard man. I hope so. Society where all these cupcakes are going to be dependent on Big Brother to take care of them and wipe their rear end and probably feed it. Wipe my rear end? I expect the government to give me a government-issued bidet, sir. My butthole requires pampering, and paper can't do that alone. So, heated bidet, please. To them, too, because that's how sick a lot of these people are who lean to the extreme left. They're mentally whacked. True. And all you could do is say, hey, get that boost. Go for it. Have a good time. Because the quicker they get start getting these boosts, their body is not going to react very well to it, especially a lot of these. Many people have already gotten boosters. They're fine call. I actually got to make an appointment to go get mine, if nothing else but for spite. <laughs> but I really do need to go get one. People who are transforming themselves on their own by chopping things off and doing all sorts of weird crap with hormones. Man. Call's the nicest guy. He just lets people like me live rent-free in his head all the time. Now that's socialism. It's not going to work out very well. They think we're all nuts. Even when the day comes and it happens to them, they'll still say that we were still crazy and it was something completely different because they believe whatever they hear. So those are my channels now. And again, if you haven't checked out the website... I yeah, you can see as you're scrolling through the site that there's not a lot of engagement going on. Highly recommend that you do. The forum over there is really good. I upload exclusive content over there. I'll be putting more and more content up over there because the more and more my channels get taken down, you know, I'm trying. All I can say is that I'm trying. But uh, there's no point... You're failing. 
all that I can say is that you're failing. I mean, uploading on my huge channels, my this one or my other one that has 400,000 subs, because nobody sees it. You can go into Social Blade, and it's like, I used to get three, 400 new subs a day, and the whole purpose... Yeah, and then they adjusted the algorithm so dog shit channels like yours that misinform people make them paranoid and tell them medical misinformation no longer spreads to people. It's a good thing. It wasn't, ooh, because I want a million subs and I want to be popular. The purpose was to reach people. And if I can't reach people because they're shadow banning me, then... So you want a million subscribers so you can be popular. You just... You just made fun of the thing you want, but said it in a different way. And I have to just keep stressfully building out these new ones. And don't forget, this channel you're listening to this on now has been deleted before. My other channel has been deleted before. They came back and got restored after like eight months. But this happened multiple times, and they just overnight were back, but to monetize and shadow ban. So, you know... All I can do is just keep plugging away. Anyway, I'm not sitting here trying to complain. I don't want anyone to feel any sympathy for me. I'm just making this video so you know where to find me. Okay? So these are the channels now that are listed below. You can always find me on the website. And you, again, the website is for everyone. It's not just for me to post stuff. Unless you happen to be Jewish or trans or gay. I assure you, I've seen the site. I've seen the forums. You and I are not welcome there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I try It's bad. I try to stay quiet on the website as far as like, you know, I post stuff, but like I don't want it to be about me. Oh, call posted something. What's he have to say? It's a Pyromancer says I'm not here to complain, but listen to me complain. About everyone else. And probably a Lannister, thanks for thirteen months. And I love reading what people have to say, seeing what's going on in people's towns. You know, I'm getting educated by people who know things that I don't know. None of us know everything. That's why we have to continue to work together as the society just continues to get sucked down into the 10th level of hell, so to speak. So, channel's gone. It's frustrating. It's life. It's not the first time. And I can guarantee... Won't be the last one. You, It will not be the last. Hope not. But thank you for everyone out there for supporting the channel. Please just do me that little favor and make sure you click on the links below. Subscribe and click the notification bell as well so you can know where to find me. Make sure you do it for both channels, because one of those channels has a strike already. Don't ask me why. Which one? Which one? I, oh, I know why. Because everything I say apparently is controversial, even though I couldn't be- Yeah, everything you say is TOS breaking. Not everything. But you say a lot of TOS breaking stuff. In, like, every video. I don't think I've seen a video from you in a really long time that didn't have at least one thing that was TOS breaking. Pyromancer says collective knowledge sounds like communism. Be sugarcoating it more. You know, I don't curse in my videos. I don't show any nudity in my videos. Completely unrelated to the other TOS things, never to my knowledge have you had a video removed due to nudity or swearing. And you can swear on YouTube. Uh, the only things that are off limits are like, I think if you're like using racial slurs and stuff in a like in a direct way directed towards someone because they're still in music and stuff and i've seen other videos that honestly use slurs so i don't know where the line is but like no you can swear you just can't be a huge piece of shit uh pfft. you know just given truth and that's really what they don't want anyone to hear so that's why they have to label it misinfo no, it's misinfo because it's not in line with reality. You are lying to people. I think you're doing it unintentionally. I do think Call for an Uprising believes this stuff. He's just delusional and mentally ill. <laughs> or conspiracy because it gives them an excuse to trash it. Meanwhile, we've all been talking about this stuff going on for years and years. You can go through this channel right here. And yet, nothing has happened. It's almost like you're wrong. Go back to 2016. I was talking about mandated magic potions, vaxes. I was. There were already mandated vaccines in 2016. You have to be vaccinated to go to school, to go into the military, to enter certain lines of work. Nursing requires different vaccines depending on the hospital. It's not a new thing. That's a thing that predates 2016, <laughs> much less 2020 or whatever. 
Uh, pixels falling with a link with 50 What bits. are you asking Bill for? The army destroyed all his brain cells with their deadly placebo drug. No wonder he's an ignoranus. What did you say? I can't play more than that. <laughs> but yes, they thought they were turning Bill into a walrus man, but it turned out it was a placebo. Tucker White says, slightly off topic, who's the Miss... Who's the Miss Info woman call keeps referencing? <laughs> it's his drag persona, Miss Information. <laughs> I was talking about all the stuff you see going on, geoengineering, the climate agendas, these things that they've had planned for quite some time. They're all happening now. And these morons out there still think it's a conspiracy because they are so dumb and so worthless as human beings that it's absolutely embarrassing that these people consider themselves humans. I don't know what they consider themselves to be honest, but I, anyway, folks. So that's what's going on with me. Yeah, running out of things to say, but uh, I wanted to make sure everybody out there knew where to find me again. I'll leave this video up for a couple days um, and then, you know, I'll continue to try to make people aware. I've got a bunch of new stuff I want to talk about. And again, I, I had a bunch of new videos that I recently put up that were really important that are just completely gone. You know, yeah, I mean, I obviously have them saved on my computer, but then it's like, you know, upload it over there and then get a strike again. I mean, what's the point of that? That's like, you know, the definition of insanity, right? You're doing the same thing though. You're just uploading new videos saying the same stuff instead of uploading the same video, but you're still including the same exact content in the new video, thus doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You are the embodiment of this. So I have to just keep those things to the website. The stuff with the potion, they do not want anyone speaking against it. It's just- I'm not a furry, God damn it. It's just as simple as that. Especially when you're talking about DNA strands, DNA manipulation, transformations, all these things that have been triggers okay. and terms yeah, that I've been exposing for a long period of time. Now you're seeing it happening and they don't want anyone to talk about it. They're so afraid they can't even deflect on some of these topics, you know, on the news or on Colbert or Kimmel, because people will be like, whoa, wait a minute. Interesting. So instead they just call us all nuts and, uh, you know, tinfoil hat wearers. Meanwhile, the people who mock it and, and are just so brain dead, all they care about is somebody not hurting their feelings. Well, sooner or later, their time is coming. And uh, they're not going to be wondering about their feelings being hurt when the trumpets sound and they're getting pitchforks shoved up their rear ends. Because that day's coming soon. All right. And uh, just, again, make sure you sub to the channels below. I appreciate all of you. Thanks so much for being here. God bless you and your families. Why is it always ass stuff with him? It's all about the ass. What's up with that? If you I think he's more into ass play than I am. <laughs> if you so that's Call. He got another channel banned. Surprise. It's not a surprise. We'll keep an eye out on his other channels. If you've uh, ever his output appears to have slowed a bit. Like the last video on here was seven days ago. On the other if channel, you... it was... I don't even know. But uh, we'll keep an eye. He seems dejected at the moment, which is the best version of Call, honestly. He does the least damage that way, so that's good. Moving on. Nick says he likes butts, and he cannot lie. That's true. That's true. It's a verifiable scientific fact. Let's check the bingo card. Bingo call sheet. Let's go with forced sterilization population control as a motive with his vaccine conspiracy bullshit. Hmm. Satanic for his Satanism deal. <sighs> A call for ban evasion on the bingo card. Is transphobia on here? If so, where is it? Twenty-five. Yep, we got twenty-five. Thank you. 
11. Yep. You're right. He did cite socialism in a thing that it wasn't. How can you get a bingo card? Exclamation point bingo. And it'll pop up in the chat. Let's take a look at bingo page two. Dynamite Jellyfish says, these nuts saying a vaccine will make me infertile. I'm like, good, I don't want kids. <laughs> 59, transphobia. That'll do it. Thank you. I don't think he specifically said anything about the Mark of the Beast in this video, so I don't think we have that. And I think that's... Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Someone had a question. 80 and or 70? Let's look. 70, the gay agenda. Definitely not 80. I don't remember him saying anything about weather control. I'm going to say no on the gay agenda. He was being transphobic, but he didn't, like, say, like, they're trying to turn us all gay or anything like that, so... All right, back at it. What are we going to watch first? You want to find out if Santa's Satan? MH Darkby says these the racists are pissed off and crying about erasing history and their tears are delicious. What's this about? Let's see. Charlottesville Robert E. Lee statue will be melted down by city's African American History Museum. <laughs> That's good. Okay, let's go over to the sewers of Bitshoot to discover if Santa Claus is actually Satan. Remember the anticipation of Christmas? How you got all excited. And then only to find out. The it says your parents lied in case that's cut off too much. Which we have of Santa came to us from a Dutch Sinterklaas who gave gifts to kids. Uh, Sinterklaas. I feel like there were other versions throughout Europe, but yes, it's it's um, it's an amalgamation of various Yule time traditions. And he was similar to the fourth century. Are there any not Nazis on Bitshoot? It's either Nazi or Nazi adjacent, from what I've seen here. Roman Catholic bishop named Nicholas. Why do babies often react like this at the first sight of Santa? Probably because it's a creepy stranger in a very loud, strange outfit, and they're being handed off to this stranger, and they look odd. Basically the same piece. Pe it's a similar phenomena, I would guess, to clowns. Person that looks uncanny. Someone in, like, especially if they got, like, artificially rosy cheeks with the makeup, their face is covered by a beard... It's, it's creepy to a baby. Your parent is giving you to a big stranger in a strange outfit. You don't like that. Cleanse for later. Thank you. Because they are innocent, do they see this or... Is Santa actually Satan? Blackwing Hecate says, I always thought Santa was a bit... red. <laughs> he is red. It's been said the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was to convince the world that he didn't exist. Yes, people who believe in Satan often say that. You can say that about any evil fictional character. The cleverest trick Palpatine, or sorry, Lord Sidious, ever pulled was 
tricking the Jedi into thinking he didn't exist. Yeah, I mean, that's true within the confines of the fictional story, but, like, it's fiction? You could say this about any evil character that doesn't inherently make that character real. Blackwing Hecate says, also as a message to call, I got my booster, but have to notice, but have to notice my ears or tail. And also says, Ron Swanson, why? Please read your messages before you hit enter so I can read things that make sense. He certainly has been the greatest shapeshifter of all time, taking many forms. His job description listed in Revelation, the 12th chapter, says he deceives the whole world. He starts off, as we all know, in the form of a serpent in chapter 3 of Genesis. Then goes on to take the form of a goat in Leviticus, the 16th chapter. He has taken on many different well-crafted forms down through the centuries. When you see Christmas or Xmas through the eyes that have been opened by the Lord, you recognize that Satan is using many of his wiles on mankind now, much the same that he did with Eve in the garden. Actually, his subtle tactics are the same. There are just larger consequences now. In Genesis, the Bible describes Satan or the devil as more subtle than any beast of the field. And the example is at the end of verse 1, where he tells Eve, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Immediately, he's attacked God's commandments here. Eve. God's commandments in Genesis are really fucking stupid. I've said this before. I've talked about this before. Okay, so God creates a garden, and everything that's alive is in it, all the animals and everything, and all the fruit, all that jazz. And then he just puts it, everything's, everything is everyone's. There's no such thing as property, right? Everything is everyone's, and you just pick fruit or food off of trees, all, all good. You know what I'm talking about? And then arbitrarily, God decides, I'm also going to put a tree in this garden that you're not allowed to eat from. Why? How would that make sense? That's stupid. This is God's fault. God is omniscient. God is omnipotent, according to Christians at least. Therefore, he's all-powerful and all-knowing, meaning when he put the tree there and he created Satan, he would know that the humans would be tempted to eat the fruit by Satan as a certainty because he's omniscient. He knows everything. He knows what will happen. He's omnipotent. He's all-powerful. So we can choose for that thing not to happen. In a universe with an omniscient and omnipotent God, it is literally impo impossible for him not to be culpable for every action. It's so stupid. Moving on. Um, Otis Noir says, I hate the whole thing Satan influencing society. It takes away human agency. Overthought says, Jesus Christ, this dude probably thinks that wheat toast has too much flavor. Meek says, God is okay with polygamy, but you won't hear that in Sunday school. And I think that catches us up. He tells him in verse 2 and 3 that if they eat of the tree, they will die. Now let's read verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. This is another attack, and that he did not. That's accurate. They did not die when they ate the fruit. And I've heard Christians be like, well, they eventually died. They would have been immortal before that. Okay, so you can agree that at the minimum, God's wording is deceptive. <laughs> right? So God is lying by omission. <laughs> God's word is true. Satan is not a liar. He came and he told the truth. He said, if you... Eat of this fruit, then you'll know good and evil, just like God. Which, by the way, also makes no sense in the story, because if they are incapable of understanding the moral implications of good or evil, how are they supposed to know that it is good for them to listen to God and evil for them to disobey? They have no moral agency. They don't know the difference. Legally speaking, they are insane. They were incapable of knowing good from evil or right from wrong. They're not culpable for that crime. Tucker White with 50, with 100 bits says, everyone knows why God didn't want Adam and Eve to eat from the tree. We sit underneath it? You know, I would just not go near it at all. 
fucking family guy. <laughs> Stop with the family guy. It's not funny. True. Nick says, the story of Adam and Eve is peak anti-intellectualism. I, only if you take it literally. It's fine if you're Christian and you recognize, you know, the Adam and Eve story as a figurative origin story of humanity that's not literally true. That's fine. I get it. I get people using narrative to structure their lives. We all do this to some extent, you know. There are stories that I know are fictional, but I still learn morals from them or use them as examples you know, in my everyday life when coming to decisions or whatever. But the difference is I recognize that those are fictional stories and need to be taken as such. Unfortunately, in the United States, there's a decent population of people who take the Bible literally, and that becomes a problem. Speedy Yoshi says, you're a filthy Santa denier, Hannah. That's true. Then he tempts Eve, just as he did Jesus in the wilderness, with what seems to be better than what God has already given them, or... So it sounds like. Let's read verse 5. For God doth know that in the day that ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Again, this is true. Once they eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they then know good from bad. Prior to eating it, they do not know the difference between good and bad. Therefore, Within the confines of the fictional narrative, they are incapable of making moral or immoral decisions because they have no moral agency. You see the subtlety here? You will judge what's good and what's not when you eat, and you won't die. You will have free will like God. Only our free will leads us straight to do just this, sin. Wait, I thought Christians often say that God gave us free will. Now free will is a burden? And when the woman saw that the tree was good... Does this guy know Santa Claus is based on a saint? Yes, St. Nicholas is part of the amalgamation that became modern Santa Claus. I don't know if it would make a difference to him. If he's an evangelical, he might find Catholicism to be Satan Satanism anyway. <laughs> Evangelicals have a very interesting relationship with Catholics. Um, I say interesting because I don't want to outright say hostile, but it's pretty close. <laughs> Dr. White says, I'm eternally grateful that my mother, as a devo as devoted, wait, as devotee as she is, hammered into me as a child that these stories are allegorical because otherwise I'm full, it's full of more plot holes than Battlefield Earth. Good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eyes and a treat to be desired to make one wise. I don't know what you're talking about, by the way. Battlefield Earth is a solid movie, okay? It's my favorite. It's because my favorite camera angle is Dutch angles. So, like, you know, cavemen find fighter jets and they learn to fly them. And that's just how the world works, okay? Don't question it, goddammit. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her. Evangelicals have an interesting relationship with evangelicals. True. Her husband with her, and he did eat. The flesh justifies doing this, but to think carnally, or to be carnally minded, is death. When you eat it, you see immediate gratification to yourself, and by your own wisdom, you have fulfilled the flesh's will. But it's not God's. Didn't 1 John 2.16 say, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. So this is what Satan offers, is all that's in the world, even though it's not his to give. He is the prince and the power of the air, or over nothing. Let's turn to Deuteronomy 16. If this guy thinks Santa is Satan, he's probably going to have to re -look his, rethink his look in a few years, because this guy goes gray. He's 90% of the way to Santa already. Look at him. He's one store being short of uh, just for men. And boom, Satan claws. Blackwing Hackety says, insert the bit with Willie talking about Scotsman, but with Scotsman replaced with Evangelical. <laughs> We're natural enemies, like the English and the Scotch. 
or the Irish and the Scotch, or the Scotch and the Scotch. Dana, read verse 19. Thou shalt not rest judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons, neither take a gift. For a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the words of the righteous. Isn't that just what Eve did when she ate of the apple? She respected Satan. She took a gift, or so she thought it was, and, went, and what did that cost? I guess eternal punishment for every person by default for all eternity. Boy, that seems like a really, really unbalanced punishment from God. It makes God come off as a dictatorial tyrant, which is redundant. I recognize this. Words are hard. Tea with Goblin says, If you have room in today's lineup, please consider this insane anti-vaxxer, maybe sovereign citizen who believes that the premier of Victoria has been tried and convicted to life imprisonment. Okay, I might have to save it for next week, but I'll save it. Thank you. Tucker White, also with the link. That's boring. You're boring, everybody. Quit boring, everyone. <laughs> no more Family Guy, only Simpsons. They clips. were kicked out of the Garden of Eden and... From Simpsons, Simpsons clips from the first roughly 12 years. Beyond that, I won't get the references. <laughs> Doesn't that mean the church shouldn't take donations? I think you're on to something. Zozo Horror Show, thanks for 12 months. Says 12 months of being a Stana. Looking forward to more. Glad you've been here. Hope you continue to be. And then Tea with Goblin says, so Satan gave Eve the grit gift or self-knowledge and independent thought. Thanks, Satan. Yeah, he's like Prometheus. Hydrate. Sorry, missed Blackwing Hecate's bits. Blackwing Hecate said, eh, I mean, can you ima really imagine him looking jolly? I think cocaine would help. Maybe cocaine? That might do it. From God's holy presence. That's a really high price to, to... At minimum, he'd get the red face and red nose if he took enough, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go with cocaine. Pay to fulfill the flesh. Now let's read verse 21. Thou shalt not plant thee a grove of any trees near unto the altar of the Lord thy God, which thou shalt make thee. Here's another example of God telling them the right thing to do and to benefit do do? from it. But that did so Look, I work. I, I make stuff. Oh, yeah? What's the last thing you made? Uh, 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 I made mosquitoes. Mosquitoes? Oh, yeah, and malaria. Did you create cancer? Well, yes. Oh, man, you ought to be ashamed. It came with tobacco. People like that. How old are you? That is a very rude question. You don't ask a celestial being how old he or she is. I've not seen disenchantment. <laughs> Say a grove of trees, didn't it? In the ancient world, the female consort to the pagan sun god was a tree. Do the scriptures say this anywhere else? Well, sure they do. Let's go to Isaiah 40 and read verse 18. To whom then will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare unto him? Do some churches promote a pagan likeness to God or Jesus? You betcha. Let's see how they do this. Any of this look familiar? They're fucking Christmas trees. These people have such a weird obsession with where things come from. Yes, the tradition of taking trees outside and bringing them inside for the winter holiday season, for the winter solstice or Yule or Christmas or whatever you want to call it, originates from pagan traditions, as do many holiday traditions, whether we're talking about Christmas or Halloween, All Hallows' Eve, Samhain, whatever. Easter has that shit too. It's all over the place. It's how it works. Usually... When people convert over time, when societies convert to a new religion, they bring a lot of the old traditions with them. That does not mean that bringing a tree in for Christmas is evil. It is fine. It is a part of Christmas Christian tradition now. You don't have to worry about it. Seriously. There are so many things to worry about in this world without having to worry about 
am I a does God care if I buy a plastic tree or a real tree and bring it into my house like who cares why are you wasting energy on this <laughs> Um, Nick says, I wish I would have done this during the call video, but I'm scheduled for my booster. Oh, nice. Overthought says, there has to be a better Bible study on the internet somewhere. Not that I know of. Mage Darkbeast says, God, this guy is drier than Ben Shapiro's wife. The workman melteth a graven image, and the goldsmith spreadeth it over with gold, and casteth silver chains. Look familiar still? He that is so impoverished that he hath no oblation chooseth a tree that will not rot. He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. What does the Roman Catholic Church put near their altars? Sure look like groves of trees that will not rot to me. But whose face do we associate with that now? And who gives the gifts now? Well, it's still Satan. It's just a different form. And how do you like the fact? Paganism isn't Satanism. Santa isn't Satan. Or pagan, for that matter. The Satan is an anagram of the word Santa. <laughs> now... The consequences are even the same as Adam and Eve's, if not more. Nick says, Radiohead would like a word with this mofo about fake plastic trees. You've sinned, and the more you do it, the more normal it becomes because the whole world does it, right? Hi, Drake. Remember who deceives the whole world? Um, evangelicals, Joel Steen, etc., it sure looks like the Roman Catholic Church who wants you to call their priests father. When Jesus said, call no man father in Matthew 23, have used this as a reason to celebrate this as the birthday of their Jesus. You should know that this is just another example of a long line of pagan sun gods whose birthday was on December 25th and disguising it with a halo and another face of Satan to entice kids or people who don't know any better. They're not being guided by parents who either don't know or care to know better, but the consequences of these predator priests are coming to light in the media now. They can't hide what probably- And there's no molesters in the evangelical churches. Probably what they've been doing for centuries now because of TV and internet. So when they show you a priest, they call Nick, who gave oranges to kids in the fourth century, and Santa Claus, who gives presents to kids in Denmark. Remember, it is the same thing. I'm real focused on the black face. I'm real focused on the black face in that picture. Nick says, the hell I did. I want all the oranges for myself. <laughs> thing as Satan and Eve in the garden. Pedestry, or pedophilia sex, was common among the Roman elites, and this was handed down to Can them by the Greeks. I just wanted a fun video about Santa Claus. Tea with Goblin says, oh no sir, you misunderstand. Us satanic types don't call our priests father, we call them daddy. <laughs> and maybe... Yeah, I know about Black Peter. It was too common, as it looks Thank like it has you. been suggested that this is why these guys were offering things to kids. It sure looks like the church in Rome... Wait, are you implying that the reason that we give children gifts on Christmas is for pedophilia? No. 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 Has allowed or continued this... Oh, you guys don't know about Black Peter? Okay. Um. One sec. Black Peter is the companion of St. Nicholas in the folklore of the Low Countries. The earliest known illustration of the character comes from an 1850 book by Amsterdam school teacher. 
uh, Jan Schenkman, in which he was depicted as a black moor from Spain. So this is a Christmas tradition in some countries that they still do, where they dress up like Santa's, you know, little friend who is, um, you know, yeah... So, yeah, a lot of... Uh, um, yeah. It's practice here in the United States as in recent years as according to AbuseLawsuit.com, which states that more than 6,000 Catholic clergy have been credibly accused of sexual abuse. Why is this turning into sexual abuse we'll suffer. video? What the fuck? I just wanted a video about Santa, god damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been tagged so just very many times in this. Look at the Oreos, my friends. It looks like maybe the crust of Oreos. Cream cheese. I think we're making a cheesecake. <laughs> and what beautiful music. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And they're turning, look at all of the beautiful stripes like a candy cane A beautiful thing, look how beautiful it is Whipped cream on top and chocolate too <laughs> I hope that you're getting so very excited for Christmas My friends, I need this cake right now <laughs> Who's the guy that did that? That guy's good at doing the Santa thing. That's cute. It's always nice when someone can really embody the spirit of the character of Santa, you know? Uh... Alright, let's see. Is there even a report button on BitChute? Let me see. Not one that's easily available that I see now. I don't see one. <sighs> Tucker White said, I was watching a video on the Voyager space probes the other day. Voyager 1 is currently 14.5 billion miles from Earth and still operates even outside of the solar system. Juxtapose that with stupid, unimportant shit like this in the pageantry of American politics. How on earth do we ever accomplish anything as a species? I don't know. Blackwing Hecate says, if you're not good, uh, Sinterklaus will come kidnap you and put you to work in his workshop in Spain. Okay. Goths every December, says Tea with Goblins. I can't just play a clip from the Grinch. <laughs> I can't play a 50 second clip from the Grinch, people. <sighs> How about this guy going around and trying to convince people of flat earth while he shops or does whatever he does? All right, I said it. Uh, filming in car on bingo card, and this is going to be flat earth on bingo card. Once before, and I'll say it again. The algorithm is fixed on YouTube. It's rigged. You are not reaching no new people. You have to go out and do it yourself. If you don't go out there and flat smack, then they may never know. I guess flyers that give you free reading information you can check out when you're bored. 10 scientific proofs you can do and 10 biblical ones. The Bible okay. backs up. I know it sounds crazy, but um, if I had to take you to court, how could you prove you're on a spinning ball? Which we were. DM Trey with 100 bits says For my DD game, the party was hired by Klaus Niklaus to kill the archdemon Krampus. Nice. Taught in school. Uh -huh. And how it's reinforced in movies, comic books, video games, everything. Okay, thank just, you. just think about it and, and really ask yourself how could you prove it besides Shut up. NASA? Shut up. Remember, Leave. we're saying that they're lying. So her. anything they show you, you can't use in court. Because they're the murderers or the liars. Right. So you got to be able to do your own research and find the proof. Okay. Check it out. <laughs> Speaking of actors who embody the character of Santa Claus, his son is one of my magic and D&D &D buddies. Fun. 
his being Ed Asner. No kidding, really. <laughs> That's interesting. Nick says, sir, this is a 7-Eleven. Excuse me, everybody. I got some free flyers y'all can have. You do some free Don't reading information. Y'all got some time. Ten proofs you can do. There you go. You give to a couple of your friends. Ever. Ten proofs you can do and ten um, biblical ones that back the science mm -hmm. up. There's over 200 proofs you can do, but we can only put so much on a pamphlet. Thank you. You just got to have an open mind. I know it sounds crazy, but you got to ask yourself, how could you prove that you're on a spinning ball? All right, thank you. Excuse me, sir. Like, even if he just, and this would be annoying still, because no one likes to be handed pamphlets, basically, regardless of what it is. But at least we was just like, can I give you some reading material? And people would awkwardly say yes to appease him. And if he just walked away and said, thank you, have a nice day. That's the, that, that's the most social interaction you should get out of this bullshit, right? Can I give this to you? No? All right, have a nice day. Or yes, here you go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Walk away. Don't linger. Don't linger for them to, like, react to the thing you just handed them. They're, they just want you to go away. People do not want you to approach them and hand them things. Hydrate. I got some free reading information you could check out. Ten proofs you could do and ten biblical ones. I know it sounds crazy, but um, if, I, if we went to court, how could you prove you're on a spinning ball? Because all your senses, all your God-given senses, when the... I'd probably enter into evidence footage from space that exists. Case dismissed. Bring in the dancing lobsters. Sun's going down. Does it feel like we're falling backwards a thousand miles an hour? Or does it feel like we're staying still? Because that's what they claim. They claim we're spinning and we're on a ball. How could you prove water sticking to a ball? Think about it. Because I can go out to the ocean and look at it and see that it's not flying into the air and that it is in fact connected to the surface with gravity. All right, brother. Meek says, the worst part is when you ignore them and they try and put it in your hand or on your car. And then Tucker White says, sir, I'm just here for a Slurpee. I don't fucking care what you're selling. Or a Facult Pendulum. Yep, that'll do it. Amanda Show, you're so old, Hannah. I'm not even 30, you're old. Free reading information when you're bored. You look, you might, might be a little bored when you got time. Huh? You get a, 10 proofs you could do. Oh, God. Don't give... No. No! Ten biblical ones. What are you talking about? It's too <laughs> that should be the whole thing. Yeah, what are you talking about? Leave me alone. This is like a tractor supply company. Stop it. Why did you check out? Blackwing Hecate said, I had such a squish, or a squish on Amanda when I was younger. Looking back, it may have been uh, gender envy, though. <laughs> but you gotta have an open mind. And I know it sounds crazy, but look, check it out. Um, what if um, we went to court? How would you prove that you're on a spinning ball? Huh? How could you prove that you're on a Stop spinning ball? Stop bothering her! That's what they teach us in school, in movies, and video games, comic books, everything. We're, we're yeah, the movies and video games and comic books show the earth is round because the earth is round. They also show the sky is blue. That doesn't mean it's a concerted effort to trick you into thinking the sky is blue. Movies just often, usually, try to depict themselves in a universe similar to our own so it's relatable. So if you're depicting a planet that's earth, you're going to depict it as a sphere in space because to the best of our knowledge, that's the reality of where we live. Bomb, 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 bomb. Um, the Mana King, thanks for raiding. Everyone go check out the Mana King here on Twitch. Uh, welcome raiders. I am Hannah. Today is Tinfoil Tuesday. We're taking a look at conspiracy theories and making fun of them, or getting angry about them, or debunking them. Whatevs. Uh, if you want to play bingo with us, you can get a bingo card, and the first winner gets a gift sub. Morak, thanks for nine months, says, All hail the Quizette Hedrak of Stream Babies. She'll be named... Maud Dib, and she will ride the sands of Arrakis and bring freedom to the galaxy. I know this is a Dune reference, but I've not seen Dune <laughs> or read it. Ordered by the globe. So how could you actually prove it? Because you know what they say? They say when you see the sun goes down, you're falling backwards a thousand miles an hour because we're spinning. The earth does rotate at like a thousand miles per hour, but it's a constant speed or at least you know, relatively so. 
you don't feel absolute speed because that doesn't exist. You feel acceleration or negative acceleration, colloquially known as deceleration. The Earth is not accelerating or decelerating at any rate that would be noticeable to you, so you do not feel it. Black Queen Hecate with 50 bits says, How flat earthers think the world works. The turtle moves. <laughs> In a distant and secondhand set of dimensions. In an astral plane that was never meant to fly. The curling star mists waver and part. Great Atuan the turtle comes. Slowly swimming through the interstellar gulf. Hydrogen frost on his ponderous limbs. His huge and ancient shell pocked with meteor crater. Turtles all the way down. All right. Eat that oh, I'm sorry. All right. I just, just care. I'll let you go. All right, you too, darling. Excuse me. Oh, here you go, darling. Here's a free reading information. Check out ten proofs you could do and ten biblical ones. Ten proofs you could do, scientific proofs, and ten biblical ones. I know it sounds crazy because we got NASA and pictures and all of this, but I know it seems crazy that I've approached you while you're looking for. What appear to be refills on your air fresheners. I know you're very focused on what glade scents you would like in your home. However, I, a crazy person, would like to approach you with a pamphlet on how we are living on a flat plane. Please take me seriously. No one will be my friend. Oh, you're busy with the glade plugins? Okay, well, read this. It's full of lies, and uh, check out our forums. How do we know if NASA's not catfishing us? How do we know if NASA's not catfishing us? I have sent zero butthole pics to NASA. Zero butthole pics. Like right. showing us fake pictures, because oh, okay, yeah. all your God-given senses tell you that we're not spinning. Do you feel like you're spinning a thousand miles an hour? Right. That's what they claim. So, but we got over we got over two hundred some proofs, but you can only put so much on a pamphlet. Yeah. Okay. But all right, yep, you just gotta have open mind. <sighs> Free reading information when you're bored, 10 proofs you can do and 10 biblical ones. We got plenty more, but you can only put so much on a pamphlet. I know it sounds crazy, but hey, if I had to ask you, what's your number one proof that you're on a spinning ball, spinning, shooting through the universe? Okay, number one proof. Fuck you, get away from my car, you crazy piece of shit. How many people have I sent butthole pictures to? None. None. What's your number one proof that you're sh that you're on a spinning? I guess I do need to bump that up. I'll just start unsolicitedly sending butthole pics to Baja while she's at work. <laughs> Ball, what they taught us in school and what NASA tells us, because you know your 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 natural senses tell you that we're not spinning a thousand miles an hour. You know that static fluids is water. Water okay. always finds its level. How does water curve around a ball? Just think about it, brother. Gravity. Gravity is the answer. Gareth the Khajiit says, I'd give anything for one of these people to say, yes, I do feel like I'm spinning at a thousand miles per hour. <laughs> All right, brother. Yep. Gotta have open mind, though. Come on, partner. Let me give you some free reading information to check out when you're bored. Ten proofs you do, ten biblical ones. I know it sounds crazy, but when you gotta really think about it, if we go to court, my dad worked for NASA. Hey, but that's cool. A lot of people, they cut grass, they put bush, buttons. Only the, only the people that actually leave the planet are... Did he just compare this guy's dad working at NASA to someone mowing the lawn? Yikes. If I'm not colluding with NASA, why am I wearing a NASA shirt? <laughs> because you bought this for me. Stromboli says, buttholes tend to lose their majesty and beauty when not in person, like butterflies. <laughs> it's deep. I'm going to crochet that somewhere. They're the ones... the right, they're the only ones that really know. So how, right, but, but how, how could you test, how could you prove that you're on a spinning ball? <laughs> All right, well, well, just think about it, brother. Take it easy. Are you colluding with NASA then? I don't know. It's possible. How many butthole pics have you sent NASA? Because I've sent zero. I'm working, I'm thinking about putting it up. Gravity, you fucking retard! Gra oh. No. 
No. Don't send me videos where someone is intentionally using the R word like that, please. Because I do got to ask you one thing before I leave. You know the second law of thermodynamics is, right? Do what? You know the second law of thermodynamics? NASA even says that a high pressure and a low pressure system has to have a container. So how do you explain a vacuum sitting right beside us and not sucking all the air off? Use this one. Pasta fazool. She's around. She's a firm. She's a fully packed. She's around the back of my head. She's flat like your head. Better. Could it be gravity? What What would be your... I think it's sad you still believe this stuff, buddy. Well, it's not belief. We've been tested for uh, almost six years, sir. I hope you find some peace. Oh no, we got peace. We got. We, we, it actually brings you closer to God, really. You believe in that too. The, believe in that too. Well, I didn't at the beginning, but to realize that you're in the center of everything and the stars, everything circles around us. I just, we're not. It's not true. You okay, ever? Thanks anyway, buddy. Right, I but, but it. geocentrism has not been. <laughs> geocentrism has been falsified for centuries. What about, about the second? Well, what about the second law of thermodynamics? I said I was done talking about it. Your um, what holds your air onto your rim? Your tire. Without your tire, your air will go everywhere. So you think gravity holds the air on? My lungs can use a straw and suck water up. Why doesn't gravity stop that? Because you are applying a force in the opposite direction or a different direction that is stronger than the force of gravity pulling the water towards the center of the earth. Opposing forces are a thing. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck. You should think about it. You might be being lied to. No debate. They just want to run, run, run. People don't... People are not obligated to engage with your bullshit. People are not obligated to engage with your bullshit, and it doesn't mean they're wrong if they don't want to. Dude, he just ran the cart over trying to get away. Y'all missed that. That was funny. Yeah, I'd not want to be around you either. Excuse me, sir. Got some free reading information. Check out when you're bored or when you get off the clock. Okay. Ten proofs you can do. Thanks for following. Pardon, can I get you some free reading information? Check out whenever you're bored. Ten proofs you can do and ten biblical ones. Appreciate it. Gotta have open mind. Thanks, partner. At least that was a quick interaction, right? I wouldn't care so much if it was just that. It's still stupid and a waste of paper. Because no one's gonna read these and <laughs> you know fall for it, but. Stromboli says an oldie, but a goodie with a link. You give me the awful Ugh, I don't want anything Hitchens related. <laughs> I'm very over Hitchens, <laughs> and have been for years. I blame Hitchens for Sargon, I'm gonna be real. Uh, Red10x, thanks for subscribing with Prime. What are we doing, ladies? That's free reading information y'all can check out. Ten proofs you could do and ten biblical ones when you're bored, when you're off the clock. I know it sounds... Did I ever admire Hitchens or Dawkins? Like in high school or really early on in TBR like ten years ago? Yeah. At least Dawkins. I was never as into Hitchens. Um, Hitchens ha has this whole thing where he's like... It's like this persona of... Ugh, I wish I had, like, a, a glass so I could, you know, a, 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 a scotch or a whiskey or something in this hand, and he's going to hitch slap you in a debate. I just hate that shit. It's so smug and pretentious and has this air of, I don't know, I, just, I, I don't like it. Um, I think it colored the online atheist community for a really long time when that was the thing and i think it's obnoxious proto debate bro that's a good way to put it yeah anonymous cheer thanks for 100 bits did i hear dawkins is a turf i did he's a fucking idiot <laughs> sounds crazy because um got nasa and everything 
But if you had one kind of proof, what would be your number one proof that we're actually on a spinning ball? If, if I had to take you to court, would you have any? Wouldn't, would you? I get YouTube keeps recommending me right-wingers like Gateway Ones, some channel called Nerdrotic Daily. Yeah, it's bad. Locks, not 10X, sorry, my bad. Get it a lot, so don't feel it, don't, don't worry about it. Y'all have a good day. Excuse me, Donald. Here's a free reader. Make sure to check out 10 proofs you do, 10 biblical ones. Mm. Here we go, love. Check out some free reader. Make sure to check out 10 proofs you can do and 10 biblical ones. Yep, just gotta have open mind. If I had to ask you, how could you prove you're on a spinning ball? It'd be hard to do, wouldn't it? All right, darling. Here we go, love. Free reader information. Check out when you're bored. 10 proofs you do, 10 biblical ones. Might sound crazy because we've got NASA, but hey, if I had to ask you, how could you prove that we're on a spinning ball? I can't believe that's his go to line. You prove that we're on a spinning ball. Because remember, they could be catfishing us. All right, brother. What take does he it think easy. catfishing means? Catfishing doesn't just mean lying. Blackwing Hecate says, How many of the biblical proofs can I do in the bath? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. It's a boring script. Nathan's still yeah. doing stuff. He said he was going away, but he's hasn't. He's still doing stuff. You've got now. astronauts allegedly drowning in space. At the University of Maryland and Miss, they've never been able to do... do <sighs> so that's what they're up to. Flat Earth on the bingo card. Take a look. Where is, let's see, do your own research. I don't know if they explicitly said that, but that's kind of the whole point of the flat earth thing, so I'll count that. Um, Turning the owl says he was going to disappear off the edge of the map. Funny thing happened, though. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Flat Earth. There we go. Where's filming in car? Because he did that at the beginning. Six. Thank you. Blackwing Hecate says, From the four corners of the earth comes the idea that a globe has corners. Sky Comet Fallen says, How can you prove we're on a spinning ball? Easy. Fill a pit with sand. Hang a pendulum over it. Start the pendulum swinging. Wait. <laughs> LMAO. Thanks. How about this one? This is a guy from back when Pokemon Go started you guys remember pokemon go it's the ar game by uh nanantech or whatever they're called and it's people would walk around and they'd catch pokemon with their phones it's still a thing it's less popular than it used to be but it is a thing when this first came out this guy made a video about how pokemon go is mind control let's find out Hey guys, it's KJ from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube. I wanted to talk a little bit about this massive trend that seemed to come from out of nowhere, this Pokemon Go. So I watched a few news stories on this latest trend. It's going to be flashing kind of between the negative and this, so if you have like photo sensitivity, just so you know. And then watching the way people are reacting to Pokemon Go and what they're doing. And I couldn't help just shake my head. You know, this is just another clear example of massive mind control. It's also signaling something from a video I just did recently on the coming post-human world. Because we really are at a crossroads right now. There was once a time where we controlled the technology. But we're Who's we? literally on the precipice of technology controlling us. So I've never really looked much into Pokemon, and I never played the game or anything, but I remember this story from some years back. 
clouds. It was the banned Pokemon episode that gave children seizures. This is actually funny. I'm pretty sure they banned Porygon on the show for quite a while because of that, because he was in that episode, when in reality, the reason that they did the banning, the actual, like, part of the episode that caused seizures was part with Pikachu, where Pikachu was doing an electric move and it was the screen was strobing. So it had nothing to do with Porygon. Porygon did nothing wrong. He took the fall for Pikachu so they didn't have to get in trouble for their franchise mascot giving a bunch of kids seizures. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're going to show that, but just so you know, they are talking at least about the episode of Pokemon that caused seizures in some kids. The animators... I've not watched Inside Job yet, no. Um, Nick says, Pika Pika, Pika Privilege. <laughs> used a rapidly strobing type technique and it flashed red and blue lights on the screen. As soon as I saw the red and the blue involved here, it got me thinking of something else. Because this wouldn't be the first time that the colors red and blue were associated in one form or another with mind control. On the color wheel, red and blue aren't even connected together. You don't know why he's the mascot? I agree. Even if we're talking Gen 1 Pokemon, I think Eevee is... E I'm biased. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. So, Eevee would have made way more sense to be the mascot of Pokemon, considering Eevee is a Pokemon whose entire shtick is that it can evolve into all sorts of different kinds of Pokemon, right? Doesn't that make sense as a mascot? Your whole thing is collect monsters, evolve them into different types, and the type combinations... Have your mascot character be the Pokemon that can transform into different types. I don't know. They're actually opposed to one another. And colors do have a ma- They planned Clefairy to be a Pokemon mascot? I'm glad they didn't do that. I don't like Clefairy. Massive impact on our psyche. In a very basic sense, red excites and blue calms. Specifically going back to the article I was just showing you on the mind control they used in Pokemon, the red and the blue, the flashing images. So now you can imagine a child watching one of these animals. It's not mind control, it just triggered some people's photosensitive epilepsy. Animated shows where they take the red and the blue and they flicker them. It's a flicker rate. They start doing it really quick. These children's minds are still developing. They make them the perfect targets for these forms of mind control. Yeah, I the child the just sit there you. stunned, staring at the screen, while the red and the blue flicker, flicker, flicker. What's interesting to me about Sim- It'd be funny if Clefairy was not fairy type. Yeah, like, Charizard isn't a dragon type, even though he's clearly a fucking dragon. <laughs> I understand they started including different types later. They added to the type list. So I get in Gen 1, dragon types didn't exist. But the fact... The fact that Charizard isn't a dragon when he's clearly a fucking dragon... I don't... I don't like the Pokemon company. I kind of wish that a different company would make the Pokemon games. <laughs> Wait, did Gen 1 have dragon? I don't think it did. Poetic Fox, thank you for a bunch of bits, says in Japan, Eevee is kind of a second mascot for the series. That makes sense. Symbolism is that oftentimes there's multiple... It did? Okay, so this is even stupider then. This is even stupider. Why is Charizard not a combination fire dragon type? It clearly should be. ...full meanings to these symbols and these color codes. I've covered the red and the blue in the past in other videos, how often we see it. It's a balanced thing because Dragon had few weaknesses, but that's what makes it better because Charizard is fucking boss. That would have been great. <laughs> Sky Comet Fallen says they can easily add the Dragon type. They just added Steel to Magmite and Fairy to Jigglypuff. Astro Fox says Dragon types existed in Gen 1, but Pokemon can only have one type in Gen 1. They needed a fire type to even out the starters. Also, dragons are OP. You're OP! The color code of red and blue is really all around us, and I know you guys see it all the time as well. So in that respect, isn't it interesting? Just Wait, Charizard couldn't fly at first? I could have sworn I used Charizard for my fly 
HM back in the day. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of a later title. How much? Yo, and 80 says, one of our crazy people here in Ireland, Gemma O'Doherty, was convicted for putting up anti-vax posters on a bridge and resisting arrest after threatening and being abusive to people. Good. <laughs> of this red and blue mind. Spurious symbology? Yes. Spurious symbology is evidence of the bingo card. Control that we see all around us, specifically in our entertainment. Okay. He couldn't learn to fly in red and blue, but could in yellow. I'm remembering yellow then. It's our media. Because I played blue, and then I played yellow, so a lot of my memories of the two are kind of mixed together. In one respect, I see it spiritually as choosing which side are you on. And of course, the red and the blue can be traced back to the Masons, back to the Lodge. Freemasons are the bingo cards. So once again, isn't it interesting that we find red and blue, these diametrically opposed colors that can be used for a form of mind control? Being they're the primer. not used for mind control just because they're, um... Complementary colors? What's the word? Great colors of Freemasonry. They're opposite sides of the And of course we find the red and the blue, right? With royalty, with the queen. Red and blue are two of the most common colors you see for clothing and honestly items in general. You're gonna see it sometimes next to each other. Uh, Mega Charizard X is dragon type? That makes sense. Would make more sense if regular Charizard was too. And that's a pretty famous picture, at least in our community of investigators and looking into this kind of stuff, but that's the belt buckle right there on the, uh, the lady in blue that's shaking hands with the queen in red. In case you weren't sure of the occult connections there. Uh, Narnini Owl says, good thing we never have blue and red on a flag together or anything. And then, of course, what do you get with the red and the blue, but you get the purple? Yeah, they're not, I'm sorry, they're not even diametrically opposed. That's red, green, blue, orange. Is it different on the additive versus subtractive color wheels? Because there's there's a color wheel that's for pigmentation, and there's another one that's for light, and I think they're slightly different. I don't remember our class very well. Nick says, y'all make me want to play Pokemon now. I might play later, too. Um, Blackwing Hecate says, I'm glad he doesn't do... Interior design for children's hospitals. He knows nothing about color theory. And then, of course, in the occult studies, the purple goes back to Saturn. Saturn is Satan. What? One thing pe people did not know the color of sat of what color satin was back in the day. What are you talking about? Purple is a color that was incredibly rare in the past and expensive, so it became associated with royalty because if you had purple in your clothing, it meant that you could afford incredibly expensive dyes. Bittergrin says RGB is additive and used for light. CMY is subtractive and used for pigment. Thank you. People rarely do is read. It's uh, red, green, blue versus cyan, magenta, yellow, I think. The bottom line, read the print. <laughs> read any of this stuff. And I'm mainly talking about privacy policies that come along with a lot of these apps and stuff like that. This right here is part of Pokemon Go's policy, and <laughs> check this out. We cooperate with government, law enforcement officials, or private parties to enforce and comply with the law. Check this. We may disclose any information about you or your authorized child that is in our possession or control to government or law enforcement. Yeah, basically every company that gets any sort of information from you, whether it's location data or any other kind of data, has something like this in their TOS. Um, not uncommon. Because you never know if a government agency or whatever is going to come and look for information on a crime or an individual suspected of committing a crime and using your data to try and investigate it. So they just say to cover their ass in case the FBI ever shows up to see if you are by a certain location at a certain time. If we have that GPS data, then we're going to hand it over to them. It's just a heads up so you can't try and sue them and say that was not yours to give. Blah, 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 blah. Officials or private parties as we in our sole discretion, believe necessary or appropriate, A, to respond to claims, legal process, subpoenas, to protect our property rights and safety, etc., safety of a third party or the public in general, and to identify and stop any activity that we consider illegal, unethical, or legally actionable activity. Reading that, considering what you're giving to Pokemon Go, you're literally giving them access to your immediate location, and your camera. 
you're giving that to tons of other apps too. Uh, basically all my Google apps. I'm not saying this is right or wrong, by the way. I'm just saying it's not abnormal because he's pointing it out as if it's abnormal. Um, pretty sure Snapchat does the same thing, though usually phones nowadays will set it so you, they can only access your camera and stuff when the app is directly open. Snapchat does this, both location and f camera, if you give them access because you can geotag your photos for Snapchat. Um, although I haven't used it in a really long time, but I remember being back in Saginaw and there's like a map, like a heat map of people's snap stories or whatever that you can look at. Um, Google Maps tracks you. Uh, your phone has GPS on all the time by default, I think, unless you shut it off, both for emergency purposes and just general data gathering. So if you have any kind of smartphone, something's tracking you. Um, you have microphones on your phone all the time. All I'm saying is, like, th these are not uncommon. This is not specific to Pokemon Go, regardless of any ethical issues you might find with these things. Otherwise, not unique to Nanantech. Narnania Owl says, not that you'd need Pokemon Go data to track any cell phone user. Yeah, no, not at all. Nick says, then make your own game, you absolute ninny. You're also giving them full access to your Google account, assuming that's what you've used to sign in. You can also disable camera access on Pokemon Go. Yeah. Because you don't have to use the AR, because you can use, like, the AR or whatever on Pokemon Go. I think it's still on my phone. Um, it definitely is, because I updated it when I got the new phone. I um, haven't played it in a bit, though. I think I tried it out a bit with this new phone to see what it looks like on the bigger screen, but I haven't played it a bunch. Um, but anyway, the point I'm trying to make is you can use the AR backgrounds where you can kind of see your room or the yard or whatever and see the Pokemon on it. Or if you don't want to do that, which I don't because I don't think the AR looks particularly good, um, it's just a virtual environment and it doesn't have access to my camera. So. But legally, they've got you because they put it right here in print. It reminds me of some of YouTube's newer policies. We're seeing so many more videos over the last year or so getting removed from YouTube because they don't fall within community guidelines. And if you read- Friend me and Pokemon Go. No. They're fine print. Nothing about you specifically. I just don't want to start- If I add you, then I have to start adding everyone, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's nothing personal. It's just like this, essentially giving Google, YouTube all the power. And they get to decide, at their discretion, the company's discretion. And there are connections to the CIA when you start looking into this. For instance, Pokemon Go was actually created by a company called Niantic. And this is one of their symbols. And of course, we see the rings around Saturn, symbolically. And Niantic Labs was formed by John Hankey. So John Hankey had founded a company called Keyhole. And Keyhole was acquired by Google back in 2004. A keyhole received funding from a firm called NQTEL. It's a government-controlled venture capital firm that invests in companies that will help beef up Big Brother's tool belt. And what's more, the funds NQTEL gave Keyhole mostly came from the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, whose primary mission is, quote, collecting, analyzing, and distributing geospatial intelligence. Now here's an excerpt from an in-house publication from the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. I don't understand why this would be controversial considering what Niantech does with their games. Because prior to Pokemon Go, Niantech had a different game that I played briefly, which wasn't as fun. But it's basically the same game as Pokemon Go. Um, less sophisticated ingress, thank you, that's what it's called. Similar systems with geo-tagging stuff and going to different areas and doing different missions, air quotes. Um, so this is a company that already deals with algorithms and data about geo-tracking. It's not shocking to me that a government agency that deals in this sort of technology would give money to this company. This company also uses it for Pokemon Go, but it wouldn't surprise me if some of that technology could also be licensed out to government agencies for other purposes again not making a moral judgment i'm just saying this does not mean that pokemon go is some kind of government honeypot it just means that some of the information 
that the company learns about their own software and develops uh, might end up helping the government someday for some other thing. Data is king. All hail big data. At first glance, a big data solution may appear to be a silver bullet for an organization's needs. Certainly, many sectors have urgent requirements that can be addressed with big data. Companies obtain customer information through avenues such as social media, mobile apps, and customer relationship management software. Government agencies, such as the NGIA, increasingly use big data analysis to derive meaning from the exponentially growing volume of data related to their missions. The main point of showing you some of this is so you understand just how entrenched the government is behind some of these things that seem so innocuous as, a, you know, a Pokemon app. And now we come to the effects it has on the public. I've been into this kind of research for so many years now that I've got the... Oh, my research said not by a researcher on the bingo card. Hold on. Mm, where is my research? Yeah, planking. <laughs> Does anyone see it? 75, thank you. point I don't like using the terms sheep for the general populace that's still asleep. Zombies yeah, is also anyway, another yeah. really popular term. Sometimes you just gotta call it what it is. And that's what all these stupid trends really do. They expose the zombies in our society. They expose the sheep I don't or like the sheeple thing people in our do. society. That means they're sheep. This right here of course was called planking. You've probably seen this. Uh, one of those really dumb trends, right? It seemed to come from out of nowhere, and suddenly it took the world by storm. Everybody's planking, essentially acting like they're dead. And who can forget? I don't think that's what planking was supposed to be. It was just a weird pose for photographs. Get the ridiculously retarded Kylie Jenner challenge, yeah. leaving teens' lips bruised and swollen. Yeah, don't do that. Kids are dumb. That's literally a video from someone who plays a character on the internet. Of course, there was the dangerously dumb cinnamon challenge. Also, yeah. something else to note about all of these trends, these goofball trends that seem to just take over, right, from out of nowhere. But something else to acknowledge about these is people do get hurt. So in all of these cases, yeah. there are people actually getting hurt doing these. People are stupid. People ate Tide Pods, remember that? Dumb challenges are following these so-called trends. And it's the same thing with Pokemon Go. On one level, Pokemon Go is just the newest goofball trend that seems to be not only sweeping the nation, but the planet. There's people all over the world who are playing this game. It's also a huge red flag. There've already been some people hurt playing this game. If you look at the possible implications of the game itself, it's rather frightening. As I said earlier, this really is a subject I'd covered before. A lot of other people have covered this as well. It's where we're at with technology, how technology is slowly starting to take over us. And all of these so-called challenges, or what I like to call them, New World Order trends. People are getting hurt. New World Order on the bingo card if we have it. And Pokemon Go is no different. It really does show you the merging of technology and humanity. So while these people are running around in the real world, they're still focused on their phones. And they're playing the game. There's an option in this game that's called Placing a Lure, I believe, where you can essentially put your own little Pokemon creature anywhere you want in the world. Anywhere. At any time. And then people will come out and try to find it, and collect it, or fight it, or whatever they do. I'm pretty sure you put out lures to attract wild Pokemon. So just think about that. I mean, anybody out there can place one of the- And you put them on, like, pokey stops. These lures on the game at any time of day. How about a secluded parking lot at- 
he's a guy that doesn't understand the basics of the game, and he thinks he's cracked a secret conspiracy involving the game. Midnight. Or somewhere out in the woods at 1 a.m. I'm just saying, these are very real possibilities, and I have no... They're not, because that's not how the game works. ...doubt we're going to see some of this stuff crop up. It's also an incredible distraction. And that's another way I believe they use a lot of these psychological operations. In the last eight years, we've had more mass killings and shootings than any other time in American history. And just over the last few years, it's really picked up. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Every week, there seems to be more shootings, right? More cases. Yeah, it's almost like America has a really big fucking problem that we aren't addressing in any way, shape, or form, either economically or through psychological health care or gun measures. Nothing. We're just, we're not try. we've tried nothing and we're all out of ideas. It's great. Chaos. And this system, the Illuminati, if you will, they are creating this chaos. It will be order out of chaos. Illuminati, too. They want martial law. They want full control. They I'll be real. If I got, if I saw this as a pin somewhere, because I have a collection of enamel pins over there, I would buy this Illuminati Pikachu. It's cute. Do you want to take your guns? And these are very serious issues that are happening right now. So while all these very serious issues are taking place... And there's chaos breaking out all around the world, and we're literally on the verge of World War III. We have millions of people all around the world. We're literally on the word, or the, sorry, we're literally on the edge of World War III. No, we're not. We're focused on Pokemon. They're running around with their phones, and they're trying to capture little virtual creatures and play. Talk to you real soon. What a weirdo. <laughs> See, more recent stuff. Oh yeah, he does. They're just really long streams. What a nut. Absolute nut. Nick says, no, you're focused on Pokemon instead of taking steps to actually fix the problems in our society. Bingo cards. I think we are pretty up to date. I'm not going to... Mm. I'll go tracking microchip implants. Normally that would only be about, you know, stuff called talks about, but that's close enough that I'll count it. Illuminati Freemasons. Psyop. He thinks Pokemon Go is a Psyop. Someone asked about, wait, someone asked about 34. Um, no. Okay, I think that's it. All right, let's check this out. This is a conspiracy theorist that does regular live streams. Let's see what he's talking about today. It appears that he's talking about, and this is a recent video. This came out yesterday, but apparently he thinks he's found some hidden messages in the trailer for 2016's hit animated film, Sausage Party, starring Seth Rogen and his, you know, normal group of friends or whatever. <laughs> Let's check it out. All right, guys, God bless you and welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. Christ's purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Okay, guys, do y'all remember I told you that this is about an energy takeover. That's why we have the Ouroboros around the right side up and upside down triangle. It's a cannibalistic system eating the right side up and the upside down male, female. Do y'all remember the Da Vinci? That's word salad on the bingo card if I've ever heard it. <laughs> 
Nick says, is the arch nemesis of Sausage Guy. <laughs> no, no. Sausage Guy has no arch nemeses. Everyone loves Sausage Guy. Word salad. Vinci code. Okay, just, you know, pick one anyway, Da Vinci. You see the A and the V in opposition to each other? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an intentional design choice. <laughs> the entire premise of the Da Vinci Code is that it's a book about symbology, which is a fake study that uh, the writer of the Da Vinci Code, Dan Brown, made up. He made up the character of Robert Langdon, who is a doctor in symbology which is basically how a lot of conspiracy theorists see themselves uh there you go there it is in red a and the v opposition to each other um so anyway uh that's what i've been telling you there's a right side up you and there's an upside down you male and female energy within the same host body it's cannibalistic that's why the first two children were born were cain and abel cannibal okay So now, let me uh, let me play this sausage. Oh no! Is binging with Babish an NFT, bro? Boo! Party trailer for you, and then I'm gonna show you guys some stuff where all this stuff, even the logo on my shirt. By the way, uh, you know, hey, it's okay to wear Under Armour. It's okay to wear Adidas. It's okay to wear whatever clothes you want. Anyone that would look at an Under Armour logo and think somebody served Satan is kind of a lunatic. Okay. <laughs> Even this guy would call out, call for an uprising. That's fun. Okay, so I'm just saying, I'm not going to quit wearing the clothes I wear because people want to freak out on the logo. But yes, the logo right there represents... Yeah, this guy looks like he's currently in a doomsday bunker and he's already being more reasonable than Call. The other team. Makes me wonder what Call's <laughs> workroom looks like. You know why? They make all the clothes. Get used to it. <laughs> so you're in their system okay so here we go let's do let's do a sausage party okay so real quick sausage party they're saying now here's the euphemistic uh you were called trump idolized under armor for a while but you forgot why was it just because he was angry at nike for something did nike do an ad that the right was mad about for some reason uh, meaning behind the whole thing sauce He's only reasonable about his own outfit. He'd definitely freak out about other people's outfits. I hope you're wrong. Sausage party. The whole earth is a sausage party. You know, you... The whole earth is a sausage party. You heard it, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's got a big old donger. Their name, the owl, says, Calls prepper bunker is probably a pillow fort under his bed. <laughs> you get to go play with your penis your whole life until you leave. Wait, no, what? What? He really is doing this, what? Meaning behind the whole thing. Sausage party. The whole earth is a sausage party. You know, you get to go play with your penis your whole life until you leave and you get, until you get taken out, when it leave the system, then you become food for the gods. They I missed this part of Plato's cave allegory. Were those guys chained up in the cave jerking off the whole time? You know, we're all in a cave, man, and the shadows that appear on the wall are all we think of reality. And also, you're just choking your dick raw. I think I'm gonna like this guy. They even tell you in this stupid ass movie, I'm sorry, it's just annoying. So anyway, let's watch the trailer, but I want to show you something because I'm going to show you how this is very pertinent to what's going on right now because the news, the new stuff I'm going to show you where all these countries now are making a major push for mandatory vaccinations, Germany, uh, Austria, uh, we, everybody already knows about, uh, uh, Australia, Italy. It's, it's, it's just catching fire right now. So. I'm impressed that he knew the difference between Australia and Austria. Bittergrin says, I mean, you're chained up in a cave. What else are you going to do? I guess that's true. Oh, and it started today. Um, anyway, I'll show 
Princess Amelia, thanks for 12 months, says, and I come into Hannah choking a schlong. Is this a bad time? No, this is the perfect time. Happy one year anniversary. For that to you in a minute. Here we go. Ready? Listen up. Pay attention. Sausage party. Think of it as a penis party that you wanted to go to and you were excited about getting to. You know, who isn't excited when you get your first invite to a penis party? Am I right? You get that invite? You turn 18, they're like, you're cordially invited to a penis party. And you're like, yes. <laughs> to go. And then you found out it wasn't what you thought. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. I'm actually sad that Daddy Sume isn't here for this video. He's missing the penis party. <laughs> Someone at Daddy Sume on Twitter and say he's missing the penis party. <laughs> Welcome, shoppers. Ketchup, mustard, oh, sausages and buns. I can't be. Prokagum says, what did I miss? The penis party invite. Damn it, I never get invited to the fun stuff. Dennis J, boys! Hey, look at this! We've got one! Oh, yes! yes. We're uh, the penis party is this next week, and then uh, after my bottom surgery, we're going to hold what I call a gash bash. And only people with vaginas are allowed to come to that one. The parties are very segregated. Penis party and gash bash. They're very different, okay? Chosen! Oh, yes! Yeah, yes. 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 We've been chosen together! <laughs> hey Brenda, you and me. I'm so happy the gods put our packages together. Is the penis party bring your own boobs? Yes. It's because we belong together. It's like we were made for each other. Get ready, boys! <sighs> oh, feels amazing! Oh yes! I'm the first to enter eternity! Oh! The pipes, the pipes. Again, this is a joke that works like in a in a two minute YouTube sketch, and I cannot believe a studio greenlit this is a premise for an entire movie. Our car. Oh Jesus, me eyes! Oh, got me skin. She's peeling me what skin. The oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Fight, I guess. Blue. I'd probably watch Food Fight again before I'd watch uh, this. At least Food Fight entertains me. This is just... I said this the other day on stream. Guys, South Park started in the 90s. So if the only joke you have for to bring to the table is, what if we had cartoon characters say f swear words and talk about sex... Don't do that. That's not entertaining. That's not subversive. That's not new. That is entirely derivative. You need something of substance other than cartoon characters swearing. The terrible truth. I gotta tell everyone. Everything we believe is a lie. What if the gods are doing this to us because we touched hips? <sighs> it wasn't even that... I mean, it was fine. It's not like anyone writes home and says, oh, God, I had the best tip. Shake with your mind. Run, guys, run! Behave you. Ah. Overstated. Ah. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it there because, I, you know, I don't know if there's a codec thing on this. I, I don't think so, but because it's commercial or it's an advertisement. Do you know what you just saw? You saw an ad for a terrible Seth Rogen project. Absolutely the truth. In... The sausage party. I mean, really? Okay, ready? Let me just destroy this. Okay, real quick. Let's just destroy it. Okay. Okay, let's go to the new... Ooh, what's on, his, what's on his bookmarks bar? His Yahoo email, which has 4,000 unread emails, which is a lot. He should probably clear out his inbox. 
PayPal, YouTube, Bible Gateway, Screencast, Special Projects. This is it. 4321 Gallery. This is the end. Apollyon Telegram. Google Images. The end has come. St. Peter's <laughs> VR Tours. And some kind of chat room. New folder. Special. Oh, God. One of the tabs he has open on his thing, it says Ashkenazi Jews. Projects to COVID. Here we go. Ready? Blackwing Hecate says Fritz the Cat massively predates South Park. Yeah, but I don't think most people know about Fritz the Cat. Everyone knows about South Park. Rachel Allergy says I suspect that a certain always horny chatter isn't here because they're in attendance at an actual IRL penis party. Let me show you a COVID molecule. <laughs> okay, right here. This is what you know. This is what they plug all the time is COVID. There it is. You see the right side up, upside down, red triangle. See them? See a right side up. One's the right side up, upside down. See it? What's this by the door? I'm They're rose bushes. I've seen the movie. They're rose bushes. I'm asking you. So let me go to the beginning of the thing and let's see where she checks out. And um, they touch tips. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. By the way, right when she takes her first, right when she takes her first slice off him, uh, watch the isotoxal stars, which means changing from one thing to another. They're floating around. Watch. To enter eternity. Oh, potato! Way to go, buddy! The pipes, the pipes are coming. Oh, Jesus, me eyes! Oh! What was the first thing he said? Jesus, me eyes. <laughs> because, because it's a potato with eyes all over its body. It's a pun because the little, you know, sprouts that come out of potatoes are called eyes. And also in the movie... The potato's eyes are literal eyes that are being. Oh, you know what? Jesus is an expletive in this context. Happened. The first thing you got inverted and you couldn't see. First thing was your vision. So there you go. Let me show you. Uh, so when they when she walks out of the grocery store. Let's see. Okay, so there you go. What's the deal right here? What's their rose bushes? What's at the front door? What are they selling at the front door? This and R this. Rose bushes. Do you see how next to the rose bushes there are other plants that are different shapes with different colored things on them because they're different plants? The rose bushes. <laughs> What's being sold right here? What is that? Do they sell stuff like that at the store? I'm pretty sure the rose bushes aren't necessarily supposed to be for sale. It's just like a thing they have at the beginning of the store. But there's clearly also actual roses for sale right next to them to the left, which are on sort of a stand underneath the balloon arch. It helps if you look at the thing you're talking about. Huh. That's really uh, kind of uncanny, don't you think? I no. mean, obviously, that's just a little bizarre. It's uh, not. If you're not paranoid, it is not bizarre. So, what's this all about? I mean, what's the whole, what is this whole thing about? It's just, it's, I mean, they want everywhere. A hundred million people have had COVID in the United States. They have a natural immunity. Remember, oh. No, no, they don't. If you catch COVID, you can catch COVID again. Many people have caught COVID two or even three times. I just saw someone the other day on Herman Cain Award that had caught COVID for the third time, and third time was the charm. They died the third time they caught COVID and refused to be vaccinated. 
oh, they'll get herd immunity. Oh, no, herd immunity doesn't matter anymore. Everybody needs to be fully vaccinated. You get to herd immunity by vaccinating people, dipshit. Now you know it's total nonsense, right? Did you ever see Rand Paul go up against this guy, Fauci? <laughs> Eviscerates him. All he can do is sit there and lie. Oh, now with the so oh, no, with the science again. All he can do is say actual science where Rand Paul rants about dumb bullshit. Stupid science, bitch. He doesn't have a leg to stand on. But somehow he's been appointed. Nobody elected that dude. But he was appointed by guess who? Trying to see what year it actually happened. I thought it was Reagan. There we go. He's been an advisor to every U.S. president since Ronald Reagan. There you go. Behind the scenes, the puppet master. Who are these people normally like? So I wonder if he actually knows that. Of Joe Biden, Barack Obama, is telling him what to do because. The Iran nuclear deal is getting back on, which is basically saying, let's give Iran some nukes, which is... It's not. It's not at all what it is. It's really interesting because we just left... Uh, how many billions of... Eye doctor versus a virologist? Yeah. ...of arms over there for the Taliban? Oh, that's a good way to arm for the Islamic Jihad, wouldn't it? I'm just saying, wouldn't it? I mean, what a smart way to do it. Blame it on Biden, because he's a dumbass. Uh, then, oh, oops, we, we drew, we withdrew too soon. What does this have to do with fucking food fight or whatever movie this is? Sausage party? Oh, here you go, guys. Here's a bunch of machine guns, tanks, and all kinds of helicopters and all kinds of, yeah. That they can't maintain. So they're useless. <laughs> Some we couldn't do any other way. Good job. Nice. That was good. Now. Nick says, in the game of COVID mon, eye doctor type is weak against virologist type. Let's give the other guys, uh, uh, it was on the news today, uh, that Biden wants to get back in the, the Iran nuclear deal. So that'll just guarantee them weapons, even though... It's literally the opposite of the point of the nuclear deal, you dumb asshole. When... The Trump entire point of the nuclear deal was allowing them uh, to conduct energy research with nuclear material under intense scrutiny from third-party inspectors in order to ensure that they weren't developing nuclear weapons. It's either that, or they do whatever they want without any inspectors. Trump was putting pressure on them. Netanyahu and those guys still caught him and orchestrated a strike because they were still going to produce it. But anyway, I'm just saying, this is just what's going on. I'm just telling you. So now, isn't that fascinating that, I, what was it, $87 billion worth of arms were left for the Taliban? That's convenient, isn't it? It's not. It's actually really inconvenient. As it turns out, if you spend 20 years bringing weapons into a country, it's basically impossible to pull them all out overnight. The best you can do is try and damage them in such a way that they can't be used which they did with a lot of the weapons and vehicles and stuff like that that they could. They just cut shit and broke it so they can't fix it. I mean, I'm allowed to draw. Dzug says, this guy is probably some poor person's super embarrassing uncle, the kind you don't want to get cornered by at a holiday gathering. Probably. On my own conclusions, aren't I? Or am I not? Sume says, like, you can't hold your hand. You're going to have to handle the horny on my own today. What a bitch. <laughs> allowed to, it's a joke. to do that i mean i think barack obama's the guy behind the scenes and he had biden give it you know draw withdraw right now get everybody out leave. that's so fucking weird to me that there's any of these people who think that obama is in charge instead of biden as if obama wants anything to do with this shit like, I have plenty of problems with Obama, but that dude's, like, he, he's writing books and going on speaking tours. 
Do you think he wants the stresses of dealing with the American presidency for even a minute for the rest of his life? Fuck no. <laughs> Leave all the shit there for the Taliban. I just, it's a no brainer for me. I mean, duh. If you're a kid and you're, you have a snowball fight, right? And there's, <laughs> You don't leave a hundred snowballs all packed and ready to go when there's two neighbor kids that are that are your opponents. You're not going to give them a hundred snowballs to whack you with. Ah, Sun Tzu's very famous art of war, comparing it to snowballs. Are you? Uh, no, you'd at least stomp on them, right? I mean, that's like... They did again. They did in this metaphor. Stomping on them would be disabling what they can, which they did. That's like snowball fight 101. Uh, but we're dealing with uh, tanks and helicopters and machine guns. Oh, pfft. yep, pfft. it's okay. Just leave them. That's like the stupidest shit I've ever heard. I hate, it frustrates me a lot when someone talks like this and like, why didn't they do this thing? And they're being so indignant and self-righteous about it and acting like they're smarter when they literally did that thing. And this person is so stupid, they didn't even take five seconds to look it up or to learn actual information. And instead they're just bitching. Right? I mean, is it just me? Or is that the stupidest shit you've ever heard? Are you going to talk about the fucking movie anymore? The six-pointed star can be traced through the... Okay, sorry, there's a lot, there's different colored lights in here. This is like my little art room project. Um, there's, here's this girl, and she's got a very manly face if you look at her. <laughs> what the fuck? So now we're talking about some piece of spam mail that he received from Spectrum, which is an internet provider in the United States. And this woman is on here who's clearly a fucking model. <laughs> is he doing transvestigation on his physical mail? <laughs> what the fuck? Racheology says the defeated U.S. without any of that equipment, or they defeated the U.S. without any of that equipment. What makes you think they want it now to spend the next 30 years trying to maintain exotic machinery when they can just throw rocket launchers on the back of a Jeep? Yeah. Her face, she's got a really solid jaw. She'd probably take a left hook really well. So anyway. Why is he talking about punching this person now? Hold on, where's transvestigation on the bingo card? God damn it. This guy's nuts. <laughs> I think this guy might have to um, <laughs> show up more regularly on the show because this is just a ball of crazy. If you see Transvestigation in the bingo card, please yell out the number in the chat. We already crossed it out, did we? Oh, we did. Yeah, it was number 59. Hey, yeah, she's very manly looking. She's a very manly looking girl. But remember I told you this whole thing's about female energy cannibalizing the system. Ready? Okay, ready? Watch. So they want to take over the right side up and the upside down. And that's why it's 69. And then see the 98? It's an 86 because, you know, you invert it. Let me show you what 86 is. And 69, ready? And by the way, 96 is important too, but let me just show you this real quick. Strong's, I'm sorry I didn't have it up for you guys. Oh, well, that's not my best typing. <laughs> Let's see, Strong's 86, Hades the abode of hell. Well. What was the last, the, the abode of departed spirits, the unseen world from an unseen realm where the dead reside? See, well, what is everything I've been telling you? What's the whole last folder I did? The pit is opening. And I used the Travis Scott concert to show you his real name's Malcolm. Travis means the crossing over. Oh, and Ring Challenge says, I wish I was that manly looking. <laughs> Me too. And on his shirt, it has... I assume you're talking about the Spectrum lady. It's blue coming up 
crossing over through the door. That's why they always wear blue. You may you can't really tell in the light here, but that's that's a blue dress and right side up upside down because females taken over the entire system now. That's why there's so much gender confusion in the world. There's no gender confusion. Just because you don't understand gender non-conforming people doesn't mean we are confused. It's an energy. It's an energy taking over the host body system. That's why a lot of people don't know if they're a guy or a girl. They're, because it's a... I do know. You just disagree with the answer I have come to. That's... Yeah, numerology on the bingo card. It's a reptilian uh, parthenogenesis thing from Genesis 1. <laughs> I assure you, parthenogenesis is not mentioned in the Bible anywhere. <laughs> At least not in specific. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? To watch it happening live. Well, let's go back to uh, let's go back to some of this stuff. Okay, so sausage Oh, we're finally after this long back to the sausage party video. Is this forced feminization? Not yet. I think he'd have to more explicitly say. Party. They're leaving the party. I mean, this is the grocery store. And there's a, there's a, there's a. Do I count the, count the Bible as citing fiction as fact? No. Because that's too easy if you use every religious text. Uh, it could count for ancient wisdom. Bush, I'm sorry. Point. It looks identical. I mean, if you ask me, and I'm allowed to just make a simple observation, I'm going to take this COVID molecule right here, this picture, and I'm going to take my picture and I'm going to shove it into the video. Look, there. And now I'm going to drop down my COVID molecule at the door right there. Okay, so I just dropped down an actual COVID molecule at the door. That's so weird. I wonder why it's identical. Coincidence that the way they modeled these rose bushes looks similar to a simple sphere with spike proteins. Don't you find that a little strange? And then I Not wonder really. why it showed <laughs> nine and ten, because because that's the nine and tenth aisles of the grocery store. There's numbers in front of the registers in the movie, like at a real store. Because, you know, the so they can say you know uh uh. But uh, Tracy to register seven, Tracy to register seven. Bible says be as wise as a serpent. And the Lord has taught me how to be as wise as a serpent. They're pretty smart. I got to give it to them. They know what they're doing, but it's because they made us their slaves. And when we couldn't see, it's easy for them to be wise when you can't see anything. Ready? Isolation and separation. There you go. So isolation and separation apart, isolated, lonely, secluded. So let's be honest. I mean, really, you know, as a, even my whole life, I don't know what it was. I was always even. Tube Man says the worst thing about Sausage Party besides Seth Rogen is how badly they treated the animators. Oof. Rachelology says gender confusion be like. <laughs> I can't stop the confusion in my mind! <laughs> Was that in a TARDIS? TARDIS a little bit. Definitely looks like classic Doctor Who. I don't recognize the specific scene, though. You know, I didn't really fit in in my family. Blackwing Hackety says, How sharper than a serpent's tooth is this man's intellect? I, I achieved a lot. I, was, I mean, as far as a child goes in a family at a young age, I was doing very well. So I graduated from high school in three years. I, you know, I was nationally ranked in tennis. I did a lot. I wasn't just a slouch. And the point is, it was hard to get my parents... Uh, attention, so to speak, you know, it's like, okay, guys, you just go do your thing. Um, I got kicked out of the house when I was 16 for my sister's weed. My brother and my sisters used to think that was the greatest thing in the world. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, they just thought it was so great. They're like, did you see the look on John's face when he got kicked out? I was 16. I was terrified. I was like, your parents kicked you out at 16 because they thought they found weed that belonged to you. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Your parents were dog shit. 
it wasn't my weed. <laughs> I, uh, I was like, oh, okay, that's not, that's not very fair. But anyway, but now I know because I was isolated. I was isolated in their system. Remember, your worst enemies will be members of your own household. I'm going to go on a limb here and make an absurd over, you know, <laughs> overly presumptuous uh, piece of speculation here. And that is the isolation that his parents constructively put him in by kicking him out at 16 and causing him so much turmoil, distress, and financial burden probably led him to the place he is today with all these conspiracies. So, good job, parents of this guy. You probably ruined his life because you thought he had weed that wasn't even his. Genius. That's hard to just believe almost sometimes that your brother and your sister and your mom and your dad, what's running them, the phantom that's running them, like Genesis 1, it says, let us create in our image phantom representative figure especially an idol illusion okay so even though it looks like your mom and dad and you love if it wasn't even if it was his weed his parents are pieces of shit of course i by no means am saying that if it was his weed it would be justified if you're a parent and you catch your kid smoking weed or taking weed via edibles or whatever first of all i guess it depends on the age if they're 12 knock that shit off no you cannot do marijuana if they're like 17 or 18 i'd be like look <laughs> you got to do that shit at home if you're gonna do it and it needs to be in moderation and if it starts affecting your grades in any way you're done <laughs> but like worst case if you're completely not okay with it and they are you know then just you know make sure they don't do it again try and make sure they don't why would you kick your child out because you thought they had weed of your mom and dad there's something weird going on your brother and sister, there's something weird going on. I could never put my finger on it. But now I know because I caught the phantom. Oh, I caught the serial killer before my game ended. Woohoo! Isn't that weird? There's a game called Omicron where you have to catch the serial killer before the game ends. And it shows you on the screen the word up. Let's watch that one more time. Let's watch it one more time just to prove it. Okay, so here you go. Here's where they did... Here's, here's where they did this little release, David Bowie and his buddy, whatever, talking about the release of the game Omicron, where David Bowie narrates the game, and he did the music with this other guy, and that's why they're there at the House of Blues. Isn't it weird? The House of Blues is a heart being burned. Oh, do you get it now? Cause the, I don't. That's where the essence of your you are, your soul. That's It's not. Not in real life, no. Your heart is a muscle that's pumps your blood what why it's called the house of blues you get it blue yeah omicron is a greek letter but it's also a game so there's this game that came out for the pc in 1999 and the dreamcast and david bowie was in it and it's called omicron but with a k and um i've seen a couple conspiracy people pick up on this and with the omicron variant which of course is just named after a greek letter of the alphabet similar to the delta um or any of the other strains that are named after greek letters of the alphabet whatever but you know how conspiracy theorists are they they make connections where there are none so they say ah omicron ah there was this old video game called omicron must be related in some way call did a whole video about it which i watched but didn't share on stream because it was really boring um it's something conspiracy theorists think. Blues. Some of them. Because they're burning you and their color that represents them is blue. You've got the blues. Now everything makes sense. Where did that come from? I guess we're now we know. So let me just show you some clips. Here we go. Okay, so there's there's David Bowen, his buddy, walking up. Let's just get to it. I don't want to hear any of their small talk. Could care less. Let's just get to it. So now they're going to mention... Om you couldn't care less. If you could care less, it means you care at least a little. Omicron. Now, re Black remember, raid time, when you go in blue. here, Have a good one. the first thing that happens is you when you go into the game, you get inverted. When you come into the earth, you got inverted. I still don't understand what they mean by inverted, by the way. That comes up a lot. 
call calls people inverted. See, I always assumed that just meant, like, trans, right? Because he uses inverted to mean trans, but this guy doesn't, so. <sighs> Nick says he actually could care less because he's making a video about it. I guess that's true. Have y'all ever listened to Puddle's Pity Party, the guy that's a clown and yeah, he sings? Yeah. Go watch While My Guitar Gently Weeps by Puddle's Pity Party. Pay very special attention to the part when he says, when he sings, you were perverted. Boom, boom, boom. He purposely hits three notes in a row to let you know you were perverted by the angel of the bottomless pit. Tube Man says, as someone with a lot of knowledge about Omicron, the Nomad Soul, it's a shitty game from the known abuser David Cage, who also made Beyond Two Souls and Detroit Become Human. David Bowie is a character in one scene, and the game sucks. Oh, that is a David Cage game. Oh, no. Yeah, wasn't he creepy as shit about, um... Wasn't, um, Elliot Page in one of his games... And he was super creepy about him. It's fucked up. Because that's what's running him. Okay, here we go. Into Omicron. Let's go. What is Omicron? It's a game where you are transported into. You are hunting a... Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah. They cr He created a nude model of Elliot Page without his consent prior to him coming out. It was a whole thing. Which especially, like... I don't know how to put this. It was shitty enough at the time, but especially with hindsight, oh my god, that's disgusting. There's basically a shower scene in the game where Elliot... Elliot is the character, and his head is the model, and then they model the body, and if, this was prior to Elliot coming out, so the body that they model is what we would consider a traditionally feminine figure... So I can't even imagine how shitty it would be when you're in the closet as being trans and then someone using your face in their project with your consent, but without your consent, adding a, na a nude scene with a body that you're clearly not comfortable with. It's so fucking disgusting. David Cage is a big piece of doo-doo. Serial killer, and if you don't find the serial killer... Tube Man says, also when David Cage met Elliot Page for the first time, he presented him with a scrapbook of Elliot's childhood photos. What the fuck? <laughs> Before the game ends, which in this case is your life ends, then they get your soul, which is exactly the truth. <laughs> you can't even think this stuff up. Okay, look right here. What's it say up here? It says up. <laughs> Just to mock you even more, they're going to put how to find the serial killer Right up here in the corner for the whole video. That's nuts. Here you go. Okay. Again, they showed you the naked female. Neither shall you touch it lest you die. Touch to lie with a woman. I'm going to stop there for a sec. Now I'm going to jump around a little bit. Uh, the reason I wanted to show you that is because right here, and let me open up another window and slide it over just a little bit. And let's open folks with their potato. Pe okay. I'm done with this guy for now. I'm sure we'll look at him again because he's interesting. That's for sure. But uh, a lot of his things are really long. So. How about the lady who thought she was the president and put out um, arrest warrants for Biden and the vice president and Congress and the Supreme Court? How's she doing? So I almost regret that video that I did talking about people being able to heal. Not because I think the information I presented was inaccurate, but because it's been being taken in a way I didn't mean it. 
in a way that actually violates natural law with people doing energy practices. I'm just going to say, do not come. That Queen of Canada lady has been arrested, for those who didn't know. I don't know if you guys remember Queen of Canada lady. She has been arrested. So. Comment beneath my videos if you have not. She was making, she was telling her audience to take direct action against medical workers, which is why she got arrested. Read the Law of the Land handbook and align with it. Because you're saying things that I just have to delete in order for uh, harm not to be done to others who might follow in your footsteps. Okay, having, having said that, there is a certain trial that's going on, as I shared with you before. You know, the Ghislaine Maxwell one? The oh, no. <laughs> a fake one. Okay. Gotcha. 1945-46 kind of like thing. Let's see. There's a Photoshop picture of Barack Obama on trial. Looks like there's pictures of Mao, who's dead. <laughs> Prince Charles, Pol Pot, Rothschild, Mussolini... George Soros, Henry Kissinger. Wow. It's a big deal. And uh, clips from it, it appears to me, are, are being released and will continue to be released. Those are clearly photoshopped. Not apparently to the mainstream. Maybe they are being released to the mainstream and the I mainstream just Kissinger isn't is dead now. paying attention. I'd be surprised if they did because they will be implicated. They are implicated, along with the doctors, the nurses, all the people who participated, drug companies, schools, teachers, employers. What's going to happen, what is happening already is the, the grief is coming sort of at a, a double whammy. People are realizing the danger that they are in, rubbing close elbows, associating very closely with the cootie stuck. They're grieving the loss of loved ones who were cootie stuck. They're also grieving the stark reality that people they trusted all their life have betrayed them in the most profound way possible. That is Rachelogy says eager to read the patch notes for Nuremberg Trials 2.0. It's a lot. And I will tell you, plain buttons and operators that allies OP, please nerf. That this is the moment you've trained for. So as these video clips roll out, they'll be posted. They are being posted in various social media forums fixed bug where Hitler uses friendly fire to avoid <laughs> trial. All right, I'm done. Sorry. From what I can see, it doesn't look like they've produced a whole lot of conversation, which probably means people are absorbing. I think it will not be too long before the conversation You see, we're all viewing this, well, not me, but I mean, a lot of Patch notes, Hitler does not go to heaven. Oh God, don't tell. Oh God. Who was that lady who had the shittest take recently? What was her name? <laughs> Did you guys see that? Carlin, yes. Does anyone have a picture of that so I can show people? It's so fucking bad. It was the worst take in the history of takes. Like, I don't think there's a single person on the planet who would agree with her, with her take on that. I feel like even right-wingers would be like, what the fuck? The regular people, the masses, are all viewing what's happening as corruption. And I view it as a takeover that happened a long time ago 
while humanity was gestating, you know, in, in. Yes, here it is. This was on top of other tweets that she had made, but said, yes, they do. Everyone who died in the Holocaust chose to die in the Holocaust before they were ever born because they collectively wanted to understand the experience of ultimate oppression. That's why Hitler went to heaven. What the fuck <laughs> is this lady's problem? <laughs> oh, it's just so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the, this is like the, the, <laughs> all the tweets that are relevant. I believe that the baby is a spiritual creature that never really dies, and if aborted, can still be born again if it so chooses. Your spiritual beliefs are no more valid than mine. Stop forcing your religion on other people. I believe that everyone always chooses to live or die. Everyone always. Aborted children choose to be aborted. If they choose to be born into human forms in the future, they can. So no, I do not agree with this statement because I don't have a Christian worldview. And then she said the other thing. Everyone who died in the Holocaust chose to die, blah, 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 blah. Yes, Hitler went to heaven. Yikes. Fucking yikes. Oh, God, she continued. LOL, I love that <laughs> this tweet is freaking everyone out. This is a spiritual perspective, people, not a human perspective. There's a difference between the choices most human beings would make and the choices we make as spiritual beings before we're born. Books have been written about this belief system for centuries. Perhaps get off Twitter and go read. <laughs> She did a stream about it and it's wild, I bet. Oh no, Lance covered it and it gets worse. Let me see this clip. Won't even call out real anti-Semitism. And so if you refuse to call out real anti-Semitism, Siraj, with your Jewish wife, <laughs> you refuse to call out real anti-Semitism, then the only conclusion that we can come to is that you get off <laughs> on feeding people's outrage addictions. That you care more about feeding an outrage addiction than you do about doing the right- Oh my god, this is so much worse than just apologizing or backing down or admitting you were wrong. See, this is the biggest problem we have, I think, in modern society. If people could just admit they were wrong, you can- everyone can be wrong, we're fucking human. I'm wrong all the time. Why does everyone have to fucking quadruple down? But hey, hey, I'm not an anti-Semite. I launched the anti-Semite challenge, and I challenge you, sir. Can you do it with your Jewish wife? <laughs> Bunny for a quick cleanse? Sure. That's cute. You know, fetal. You know, as a fetus. <clears throat> inside the womb of Mother Earth, as you could say. That's a figure of speech, I guess. View it as a takeover or or simply something that happened before Earth was formed even. The idea of things being implanted in our being that cause us to have thoughts, that's not new. The public is just finding out. The masses across the entire world are... Okay, I'm done with her <laughs> rambling. Uh been a bit of a scant week in terms of uh tinfoil material i apologize pagan sex rituals aka christmas is the title of this it has been called the day of days it is a time of magic pageantry warmth generosity and love for many of us our fondest childhood memories revolve around That's the all. traditions of christmas Save those bits for another day, bro ha, huh? because I'm about to end the stream soon. So I'm going to deny that just so you can save them, because if I'm going to do that, I'd rather it be for a long period of time. I don't want to take your points and only last for 10 minutes. Felix Night Owl says, My dad killed a deer. We skinned, gutted, and processed, processed it at home ourselves. Now we are having deer chili. Have you had it? Would you try? I've had venison. It's good. I've not had deer chili, though, but I'd try it. I'm not the biggest chili fan. I liked chili 
if there's no beans. I'm not a big fan of beans and chili. It is a time that many around the world celebrate as the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior and Messiah of mankind. In recent years, however, the spiritual holiday has become a time of mass marketing and crass commercialism. Incredibly, many businesses derive more than half their yearly income during this period. The process of gift giving, once thought to have come from the story of the wise men who offered gifts to the newborn Christ, has evolved into the buying frenzy we see today during the month of December. But what about the other Christmas traditions? Have you ever wondered why we decorate the Christmas tree? Practices included open sex in the streets, rioting, murder, and a number of pagan druidic Halloween rituals. This blood-drenched celebration got so out of hand that by 1652, following the execution of King Charles I, Christ's Mass was finally outlawed in England. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I think I'm done for the day. Uh, let's see who we're going to raid. Closed on Tuesday. Thanks for three months, says Woo. Finally figured out how to subscribe with Prime. Glad you figured it out. Hundred Central Time, uh, twenty one hundred UK time stream. Um, we will do that for oh, he's the about couple to of weeks. End, so I guess I won't raid him. Smitty four fifty one. Thanks for four months. I wasn't really close on pushing it away, but I appreciate you rounding yeah. that up to close. I was so worried about pushing the graphic that I botched the read. I'm just, I, I am kind of surprised. I'm not here. All right, thank you. Cages in and, and raping we'll them do, Jack. all the time. It literally shows all these people All in right, cages, have a good night, everyone. And you can G4 hear is the thing. What years? Yeah, they just brought the it back. Uh, Adam Sessler, Morgan Webb, Kevin Pereira. They're back. But none of the quests actually... It's on Twitch if you want to watch G4 Would it maybe TV. also be appropriate YouTube to call too. it a plantation? Yes. Have a good night, and everyone. Of, I'll be the back. The quest um, doesn't deal with that Tomorrow. all. It's just Probably for Chud Watch. We gotta finish that John Doyle Satanism video. Um... Oops. Have a good night, everyone. I will see you soon for more fun. Bye.